Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to the backyard. We're of course playing Grounded again tonight, and continuing the build that we started in our last stream on that Japanese-style feudal castle thing that we're building. I don't know how it's going to turn out just yet, but I'm having fun making it just the same. Welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far, or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, big thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member and support the channel. Uh, but of course, a, a, a big shout out to all of our top tier channel members, uh, those people that choose the Mistakes Were Made tier. Uh, Dr. Raven, I can never get this guy's name right. Dr. Reverend Chaos, Jason McLaughlin, Jeff Johnson, Amanda Johnson, David Lazenby, uh, Patricia Remember the Accident a Livestream, Shadow Wolf, Jarek, Snow Wolf, Drop Bod, Zirian Zelos, Vamp Size Size 6, Tim2020, Peter Bocabella, Sebastian Gours, The Scrub, Toolkit71, Matthias Z, Kayun, Nabs1, and Still Snow. Thank you all very much for the support. Um, yeah, so welcome back to the backyard. Uh, we've, uh, we did a little bit of work on this on the last stream. Uh, it took uh, quite a bit to get this built up. I finished the floor, um, in between streams, so I went out and got some more clay and got that done. Uh, I also put the, uh, the first sort of, um, I don't know what you want to call it. It's not really a roof. It's more like just a small section of roof around the edge of the building. Uh, so I got that built all the way around as well. Uh, I'm apparently hungry, but that's okay. We'll sleep in a moment. Actually, let's uh, swap this over to the daytime. We can actually see things. I can find my little, uh... It'll lean to over here. So I got that done all the way around. I think I'm actually just missing like one stem or something for finishing that. Uh, I've been trying to get the floor to glitch so I could get it to overlap and cover in this bottom part. So it sort of finishes that off properly. But um, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know if they made a change or something, but things don't seem to glitch as easily as they used to. That's the one stem I'm missing. I'm still obviously flooring to finish and stuff in here too. But I've got this whole, uh, this whole surrounding piece here all done. Uh, for our first level, and then uh, we're going to continue to build up the next level, and so on and so forth. Um, the grass doesn't seem to be respawning as quickly as I was hoping it would. Uh, the, uh, I'm having to go a little bit farther afield to get the grass than I'd like to. So hopefully some of that will spawn back in today, because it hasn't uh, since the last stream, but... Subroof. Yeah, it's kind of like a subroof, I guess. It's almost like a quasi-roof, a, a mini-roof. I, I don't even know what to call it. But nevertheless, um, we got that done. Um, this moves the wall back in about a half a step, so um, it's not a full uh, not a full panel in. It's only half in. Uh, so each step that we go up in our uh, in our building will kind of do the same thing. I'm going to finish putting walls and stuff around in here as well, uh, and then I got to figure out I'm going to put the windows and stuff on the second floor, and also try to find a decent source for um, for stems because there's not uh, not much around here right now. Uh, I'm thinking like if we put like triple windows here, I'm going to cancel this here. Uh, we'll do like a triple window here. So this level was is um, on the from the outside. It's only going to look like it's one high uh, because of the sloped roof part here. And then we'll do another one of those. And then the next one up is going to have like some different roof pieces on it as we try to like angle things a bit differently. But hopefully this all works. Leslie Holt with super chat. Sarah can't stay, but I know this video will be great like all your other ones. Rock it out, have fun. Catch you on the next video. Thanks, Leslie. Appreciate the super chat. Thanks very much for the support. Yeah, so uh, I'm also um, a switch touch tools that we were using here too. So I did have that level two axe that I was using. Um, it's okay, but um, this thing, see, this uh, they buffed this fancy um, spider fang dagger, or whatever it's called. Yeah, spider fang dagger. Uh, they buffed this thing, so it does uh, does a little bit more damage now. You can cut down blades of grass generally with like two hits with it, uh, and you can swing it a lot more times than you can the axe before you get this like the pause in the combo. Um, so it's a little bit quicker for cutting down grass. So we're going to be using this today instead of the uh, instead of the axe. And um, as a few people have requested too, I also got rid of the uh, the distance blur, so things are a little bit clearer when you see them at a distance now, instead of that weird fuzziness you get when things are far away. Oh, that makes it a little bit nicer to look at. Thank you for the streams. My one year old uh, loves them, calms down, and goes to sleep quickie. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Thanks, Wicked. If only that worked on my kids. <laughs> I can't see too much. My uh, mini fox is pretty tired today. I think she's already sleeping right now. <laughs> she's 12. She's got, a, got about 11 years on the one-year-old. Yeah, so it's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of chopping and gathering and stuff today. We'll try and find some more... Uh... Oh, I should get some more Burgle Quests, too. Yeah, we could do that, too. I've, because I've been working on building, I haven't really worried too much about the Burgle Quests. Um, I cashed in the ones that we had before just by completing them, of course. And... Uh... Yeah, I also built a smoothie maker over here, so we can make smoothies now. If we, uh, yeah, not not that we're really suffering for for hydration here anymore, but uh, if I want to, I can make some smoothies just in case. Oh, I got the, a couple more feathers here to get rid of. Ditch this. 
Welcome to Fox. How are you doing today? I'm good, Dr. Deathwish. How are you? Are you going to do any burgle quests tonight? Um, yeah, I'm not sure whether I'm going to or not. I should probably go collect them. I, I'm, I'm actually wondering, like, I wonder if the grass will respawn more quickly if I'm not in the area. I've been spending a lot of time over here, obviously. Um, so I wonder if maybe if we go back over by our, uh, our treehouse base... We spent a little time over there, maybe chopping some stuff down. We might, um, well, I can, only, I can only bring like eight of it over with me. I guess it's not really going to help. But if we can stay out of, the, out of the range for a little bit, maybe some of it will respawn. I'd like to get some more of the grass that's closer to the end of that bridge to come back. So I don't have to haul it quite as far. Oh, another bird feather. I'm finding all kinds of these things now. Another crow feather. What's going on, my friend? You still trying to build the pagoda? That is uh, quite the challenge. Uh, we're expecting Godzilla. Godzilla? <laughs> uh, I am still working on it. Yep. Uh, so we've got basically the the first level mostly done. I am, you know, I need to bring a lot of grass and stuff over. It's taking a lot to haul materials, even with our fancy ant outfit on. Mostly because the I've, I've cleared away the grass at the base of the little little bridge thing I created, and we're having to go a little bit farther afield to get it. And the uh, the stems in particular are something else that we have to kind of hunt for. A little bit. It's kind of a bit of work. Oh! Ooh, saw that! Ah! Get this thing out. Ah. Don't kill me! Ooh, he's stunned. Get him! Get him! Oh man, that was close. Okay, that didn't go so well. <laughs> I was like, if I could draw him with an arrow, then I could switch weapons. Uh, turns out, if he sees me first, that plan doesn't work as well. Okay, um, I don't have any fiber on me. Let's make some bandages here. This thing's great for chopping grass down. Crafts, um, health and snacks. There we go. <laughs> Good start. We almost, we almost died to the spooter in the face. Darn spooters. I just figured I would kill it to get out of the way, so I wouldn't walk into it when I wasn't expecting to. And uh, yeah, uh, maybe not the best plan attack there. I should have, uh, should have been set up a little farther away, maybe. Let's go get some Brickle Quest. That'll kill a little bit of time and hopefully give that grass near our base a chance to respawn. Let's we'll see what else he's got for us. Uh, we've done, I think, two of the Burgle Chip Quests now. I think. I'm not sure if there's any more that they added in just yet. Ant Smoothie will help for like a minute. Yeah, it only lasts for like, yeah, it's either a minute or two minutes. I can't remember, but it's uh, it's not a lot. Need a lot of ant parts to make use of that thing. In, in particular, I think it takes, it's like uh, ant parts, ant heads, and ant mandibles. So we kind of need a lot of them. It's so weird to be able to see long distance now because I have the, uh, I have the distance blur turned off. Everything looks a lot more crisp. <laughs> Two minutes of real life, yeah. Sorry I'm late. Did you miss anything? Uh, I took a spooter to the face and so we almost went splat. But we lived. It's okay. Sucks having cancer, but you're still fighting it. You have cancer? That sucks. You're right. Good luck with the battle. Fortunately, treatments are a lot more successful these days than they used to be. I had a, a number, quite a few family members that had cancer over the years. Find the graveyard ship in the anthill of the west. I already found it, actually. Uh, I found it before I got the quest from Burgle to, to go get it, so... I don't know. What the? What are you doing in here? <laughs> I'm not sure how this ladybug got in here exactly, but I'm, I'm pretty certain it's not supposed to be in here. <laughs> All right, you stay here. You can be our friend. We'll call you Betsy. That's right. You stay here, Betsy. Howdy. It's good to see you 
Bu -bu -bu Burgle. What, you, what jobs have you got for me, buddy? Uh, the beetle quest again. Aphid hunter and uh, artificer ant arm guards. I mean, that's easy enough to do, I guess. So that's where the ladybugs are. Well, there's one of them in here anyway. <laughs> now that they they patched it so that the insects don't get stuck in objects so much anymore. Uh, I have seen more ladybugs around, which is great. Definitely a lot more of the worker ants. Like, a lot more of them. Before, they were really, really hard to find at all. Now I see lots of them. See, there's two right there. There's an aphid over there, too, actually. So I know I saw a spider here somewhere, too. There was a, a wolf spider hanging out down here. I want to be conscious of that guy. Is that aphid? Oh, I missed him. <laughs> Hold still. Hold still. All right. <laughs> so much for that. I figured as long as it was there, we'd just get take a shot at it and pick it off. But he's uh, he's a little too excitable. Uh, I gotta get back up to my staircase. I'm trying to make the level two R, and I'm having a hard time finding ladybug. Oh, level two axe. Oh, I had the same problem for a while, um, but the patch sort of sol sort of solved it for me. They were getting stuck inside rocks and stuff because they were spawning inside of objects. But when they patched it, it uh, all kind of cleaned itself up for me, so I got I got that. The level 2 axe, I don't know how useful it is, though. I mean, I'm using the uh, the spider fang dagger now, and it, it seems to cut faster than the level 2 axe does. And it cuts the same things. It's not like it's not like needing the axe for some things and and the, uh, the dagger for something else. It's kind of weird. Check out my... Uh, my glorious sorting system that all of you appreciate so much. <laughs> had, I've had numerous comments telling me I really need to sort out my stuff. So because of those comments, I'm not going to do it. Take that in your face and all that junk. <laughs> I don't know. I'll get around to it eventually one day. It's not really something that's like a high priority for me. Uh, let's do... Let's see. we got this. Got mandibles. Do I have spider heads in here somewhere? I thought I had like a whole pile of them. Oh yeah, I got ten of them. Yeah, we can make some ant smoothies. We should also make those uh, ant arm guards. We'll get that out of the way while we're here. Uh, workbench gear. Ant arm guards. Ant parts, acid glands, and mite fuzz. Should have. Well, let's get two more of the parts here. No, wait. Or was it, or was it five? I think it was five of the parts we needed. I want to use the other ones for making shakes. I'm sure I have poison glands here somewhere, too. Need these. There we go. Acid glands. Whatever. There we go. Boom. 200 raw science. Just like that. Oh, that's more clay. Uh, you know, I don't know if we're going to need the clay, but I'm going to bring it with me just in case. Just in case we need it, um, I've got the scrub meat. I've got all, all right. We got plenty of food on us now. Let's uh, let's go ahead and make some of these fancy uh, fancy workers comp smoothies. I feel like they really need to add in a feature here that lets you do these in multiples. <laughs> Clicking them one at a time is kind of a nuisance. Hey, Fox, would you ever consider getting into VR gaming? Uh, I like the idea of VR gaming, but I don't really have the space to do it here right now. So, I I don't know. I would really like to, but uh, until I had spot to do it, I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe to employ Nate to start uh, to sort your storage and you can put the signs backwards like in 7 Days to Die. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> Why do things efficiently when you can do them not efficiently? That's my motto. Don't, don't ask where I work. Uh, all right, this is all sorted. Oh, you know, I don't really need these spider parts on me. Let's leave those behind. I guess I could make, like, smoothies or something out of them, but, yeah, we're fine. Just play VR outside, space of plenty. <laughs> yeah, it does cause challenges for recording, but yeah. 
That'd be funny. <laughs> My neighbor would be like, what on earth are you doing? Oh, nothing. I'm just uh, defending, the, defending the galaxy. Go about your business, citizen. <laughs> Fox would just blow Nate up. I don't have any grenades. If I if I had some, I might. Not on purpose, of course. I'd never do something like that on purpose. What kind of a friend would I be? I'm gonna take some stems back with me. I can only I'll uh I'll pop one of these smoothies when we need to, and we can take a whole stack of like ten of them back with us. Um, just because these are a bit of a pain to get. Yeah, Bart. Hey, don't push those around. Those are mine. Okay. Bloop. That gets us up to ten. Now we gotta gotta haul butt, or I'm gonna wind up dropping them on the way back. I'd prefer not to use two of the smoothies if I have tonight. Yeah. Um, just on the one trip back. If I can avoid it, anyway. Ah. All right. <laughs> Jeez. Never mind, we're just gonna get stuck on the way over. I'm not even gonna get there in time. You know they're gonna be opening up the new uh, new areas of the map. Do you think it will be a good idea to be a, get as close as possible to new land? Um, yeah, I don't know. The trouble is, where are they gonna add the new land? Um, at what point are they gonna add it? I'm gonna build multiple bases anyway. This is already our second one, third one, I guess. This is our third base, fourth. I think it's actually four. So if you count like the bottom of the tree is one base, the first base we made on top of the mushroom is another one is two. Tree top base is three. So this is basically our fourth base we're working on already. Are you a skeleton by choice still, or did the update not fix it? Um, I'm a skeleton by choice. I could uh, I could load in as a different character if I wanted to. I just choose not to. I like the skeleton character. He's cool. Need some resource minions to work in the shadows. Well, this is I. So I started this game as single player. I don't know if you can have people join multiplayer on your single player save. I haven't experimented with that. No one counts the mushroom base. It's barely even a hovel. <laughs> it was our first base. Cut me some slack. <laughs> we didn't get fancy with it, but it, it did the job. Well, I mean, aside from the ants, like, going underneath and stealing from my, stuff in my chest. But I think that was more because I had food in the chest than anything. None of this grass respawned. This is great. Yeesh. Careful, Vox. YouTube will demonetize if you're getting past first base. Ha! <laughs> getting past third base. Does it, oh, look. How's that for timing? Just as we got here, this thing ran out. Uh, I'm going to use this last stem up here. What? I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I threw it through the wall. I didn't even know you could do that. All right, wrong button. I hit R, I guess. I meant to hit E. There we go. <laughs> it was like a javelin. <laughs> what are we doing today? We're working still on my uh, my feudal Japanese style castle here. I call it Japanese style because frankly, it's not really going to be you know, entirely accurate. Our building capabilities in this are a little bit limited, so I just kind of want to make it look sort of like that. See how it see how it all plays out. Take that back. The second and third are connected. What's this? Oh, the second and third base. Yeah, I guess they. I mean, they kind of are. All right, that's it for the grass again. Man, it, it takes so much grass to build in this game. I need to get like a like a professional lawnmower company in here or something. They can just chop everything down, and we can go along and pick it all up. Chop those stumps down for faster regrowth. I don't know if it actually does respawn any faster, because it will respawn without without getting rid of these. Uh, I mean, it can't hurt to try. I mean, it could because you know, I could wear out my my tools on myself, but. Try doing corner floor pieces for the overhang? Uh, I'm not sure how that would look exactly. So, well, let me see here. So the corner floor pieces are these ones here. So they still, whoops, that's not it. That's the, the ones that are standing up. Triangle wall, nope. 
There it is. See, they still take up like a reasonable amount of space, so I, I don't, I don't think that's gonna work necessarily. See, they still stick out. It's not like they won't, not like they won't stick out or anything. I could do it like that and just have like a little piece sticking out, but it, it, it'll look kind of weird. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it for now. I was trying to glitch the pieces through and get it to build that way, but it doesn't seem to be glitching as easy anymore. And I wonder if they if they patched it so that that doesn't work anymore. Isn't it like three game sleep cycles to respawn? Honestly, I don't know. I feel like I've done more of those than, than three, and I still don't have any. Eh, I broke my tool. <laughs> this is the only problem with using this thing. It's expensive to repair. Actually, you know what? These things I can just punch down. Save my tool. Kung Fu Skeleton! Get the first layer of grass walls on the second floor, then uh, at least it won't see through the sky through it. Well, there's that, yeah. So it, it will be uh, like the kind of thing where, as we build up, the, uh, the walls themselves will look obscured a little bit, so it won't look like you're seeing through as easily. Eat! We don't need no stinking food. Alright, I'll have a little mushroom. I've got lots of food on me right now, so we should be okay for a while. Jean-Claude ain't got nothing on you. <laughs> Good old Jean-Claude Van Damme. There's a skeleton cigar right here. Okay. I mean, I can pick up the fiber, but I'm lazy, so I'm not going to. Um, this grass here, I could chop it down, but if it falls anywhere over here, it's too deep and I can't pick it up. So I'm going to go around the pond. We'll get the grass on the other side. Let's go around the crow and watch for, uh, for falling feathers. We have a bunch of feathers already, unless someone was asking about how to get the feathers. How are you a skeleton in the game? It's uh, it's a bit of a trick that they, they disabled, so you can't do it anymore, unfortunately. When the, uh, when the game first launched, there was a, a bit of a gimmick you could do to turn yourself into the skeleton. I think they're going to add him back later as a playable character. He's just not an option right now. Drop it all down. Once I heard you can grab the ant age now and you won't, and you can make your bombs. Last I heard you can grab, oh, the, you're talking about the, the ant eggs? Uh, yeah, so I did make like five bombs. Uh, we gotta go check in there again, but every time I've gone in, ever since the, I found the five eggs, there has not been any eggs in there. So I'm not super hopeful, unfortunately. Have I tested the new armor? Which new armor? I have ladybug armor, ant armor, spider armor, bee armor, acorn armor, clove armor. I'm not sure which new armor you're referring to. There's a post that it works now. Oh, the hat. I, I have the hat, too. Uh, I haven't shot anything with it, but I have it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. So tonight's going to be a stream of a lot of back and forth, I think, just carrying uh, carrying planks to do all of our building stuff. I'm really curious to see how much progress we can make tonight uh, on getting these levels done. I kind of want to... I'm hoping we can get a couple levels up fairly quickly. I might even not even bother with the inside wall just yet, where that roof layer is. 
I just build the next one up so we can get working on uh, going upwards as opposed to spending my time trying to fill in stuff that's going to be kind of hidden behind the wall anyway. I can fill those in later. Grub armor would smell really... Oh yeah, wouldn't it be great? It'd be all nice and slimy too. Mm. Slip into a little grub armor, that'd be wonderful. <laughs> Plague as well, hi Fox. Hey Monroe Gaming, how you doing? Just build the roofs, don't need walls at all. Oh yeah, brilliant. That's actually, that would actually work in this game, sadly. <laughs> for a little while. It'd work for a little while. Because you can build on the phantom, the phantom placed pieces. Ah, oh, just when I got there, it ran out. I don't think this milkshake or this uh, smoothie thing works too good. It doesn't last long enough. Does Boney still work on the Xbox? I don't. I don't think you can get them at all right now. I think the only reason I have them is because I, I unlocked it early on, and then they patched it out. At the same time, they patched out things like the free roam camera and stuff. And uh, yeah, so now. Uh, now you can't get them. Uh, like I said, I think they're going to wind up adding them back in, but I just don't know what, what the plan is around that. I'm not carrying 10 planks. I think you'd only carry 8 even in ant armor. So I've got this smoothie, the one that's in my number 8 slot there. When I drink that, it lets me carry two additional ones. It's one of the new smoothies they added. It's made with um, ant head, ant parts, and ant mandible. And lets you carry two extra. Still glitch the armor. So you, well, I haven't been having any luck with that armor glitch. Not, not just that you can't do it, but I think it's just that I have too many armor stands right now. Because I have, uh... I have a batch of them in my lower base, and I have a batch of them in the top of the tree base now as well. And I haven't had armor glitch when I put it on the stand in a really long time. Pretty much not since the first time we did it. Num num formic acid. You seen the glitch that makes you carry more planks? Yep, I have. That's the one we were just talking about. How long does the smoothie last? It's like two minutes or something like that. It's not long. Sadly. Just find one that keeps your armor in your inventory when you put on the, on the armor. Um, yeah, so that doesn't work. <laughs> so the idea with the um, the glitch was that you, you would put your armor on the stand... And then when you would leave and leave the game and come back in, it would be gone, but it was still technically there. So you could put armor back on the stand and then like take armor off. And I don't know. It, it was so you could you wound up so you could keep equipping armor all, all like, over and over again. And you could get like these crazy carry amounts. Still, some mod you've seen people using that to carry whatever and set the limit to. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't really do a whole lot of modded gameplay. Random question. Do you use flat or curved monitor? Uh, I have flat monitors. I have two of them. I haven't tried the curved ones. I mean, I only recently bought a new monitor uh, to replace one of the older ones I had. But I used to, I just used two flat ones. I have, a, like, an older third one here. I've kind of been... Kind of been thinking about maybe trying to set up. I don't know if... Uh, I don't even know if I, if I can get three set up on this computer. Um, and my desk space is a little limited, so I don't know how that would work, but... What did I have for dinner? That's random. <laughs> I had I had barbecued hamburgers. <laughs> Nothing fancy. Barbecued hamburgers with shaved truffles, foie gras, and caviar. <laughs> Stream seems blurry. Maybe your eyes? Uh, oh, it does look blurry. My preview looks blurry too. That's the that makes no sense. My game looks fine when I'm playing. Marksmas D with a super chat. Hello everyone. Good luck with the stream, Fox. I missed last night, but hope uh, we'll watch it this morning. Hopefully it doesn't crash next time. <laughs> Thanks, Marksmas. Appreciate the super chat. Yeah, that was uh I had fun playing Windbound last night. It was just a shame how often it crashed on me. It was kind of a super pain. Super pain. What do I think they'll add the water update? I'm not sure. Just one second here. I just want to check my bit rate that I'm sending at here because no, I'm sending at a high bit rate. There should be no issue with quality. But my preview looks blurry. Is it blurry for everybody or is it only a couple people? 
I can't tell sometimes if they're just a lower quality on my uh, on my preview. Uh, you know what? It's nighttime. Let's go to sleep. When do I think they'll add the water update? So they're supposed to be doing updates, I think, every month. Looks fine to you? Okay, good. It's just, it's funny my preview looks blurry too when somebody mentioned it. Mind you, I don't look at it all that often. So maybe it always looks like that and I just don't even notice. Can you build a bridge across the pond in uh, grass to save time running? Um, uh, Yeah, I probably could do that. I mean, it would take time to build it. And I'd have to clear the way and stuff to get through there, I think. But yeah, we probably could do that. Might not hurt. I mean, it would hurt a little bit because I'd have to spend the time building it, but it might save time in the long run, so I'd be alright with that. Um, alright, there we go. <laughs> Clearly, uh, I gotta do a little elevation on this. <laughs> it's probably all the plant fiber that's laying here, actually. <laughs> Get all this plant fiber out of here. Turn it into smoothies or something. All right, we'll do uh, we'll do like a stair here first. We can even put it in the ground. That'll work. It's nice that I can build right through the plants if it doesn't cause an issue, and I can build while I'm swimming too. All right, there we go. I don't even have to build the actual stair part of it. I can just build the uh, build the walkway. If I can see it. Where did I put that thing? <laughs> Flagging for you. That's not good. Get out of here. Clover's beating me up. It's like one of those punching dummies. You knock it over, it comes back up. Can you not build the bridge a little lower so you could cut the grass uh, and not fall to the bottom? Um, I mean, potentially? Not super worried about it though. It, it does, the grass doesn't fall in a predictable way all the time, I find. Timber! <laughs> Ugh. Clover bounced me. Too deep. Getting there. This won't take long. Hopefully, this will save a little bit of travel time. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> I gotta carve a way through here, though. All these clovers getting in my road. Parkour grass pickup, yeah. Ah, oh, I'm one short. I think the grass is starting to respawn. The stuff on the edge I had already cut down before. There we go. Okay, the stairs, the stairs I won't even bother building. Just, we'll just let the thing fly in the air. There we go. One left. Perfect. You do have to parkour the grass in a few places to reach uh, raw science. Yeah, I've done that a couple times, actually. I kind of like that whole raw science collection. It's kind of... It's neat to give, like, a little... Another little aspect of the game for something to do. You know, behind, you know beyond just the survival and the... Uh, building aspect of it. Ah, broke it again. I'm going to wind up, like, burning through all of my... Uh, 
on my uh, rock stuff, whatever it's called. I can't remember. Brain fart. Grass respawns, not gross. Yeah. Oop, grass master. So I should eat something soon. That's a more direct route. That'll help a little bit. Have you tried killing Burgle yet? Does he respond? No. Oh, the Quartzite, yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't tried killing Burgle. I, 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 don't feel, uh, I don't feel like I want to attack him. He's too nice. Plus, it looks like he was designed to flip hamburgers, and I'm kind of hoping one day he's going to figure that out again and give me a burger. It's a slim hope, but still, I hope for it. Never forget what Quartzite's called. <laughs> I'm old. I'm titled Brain Farts. That's how it works. Ten. See if this direct route will let us get ten back there a little bit easier this time. Have I seen the cave with all the ant heads? I have actually. Yeah, that's um, that's actually where I just got the ten ant heads to make the smoothies that I made. <laughs> there were uh, ten ant heads inside inside that cave in like a bag or something. So I took all those and I just uh, I just made like ten smoothies out of them. I was gonna make a, a whole bunch of the little ant heads on steaks kind of thing as a decorative item. But I guess for now the smoothie's a little more useful. So we'll have to get more later. Oh my inventory's full, right? I gotta dump my inventory. Go, 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 before we drop him. Never know, Fox just decided to go straight vegan. All the veg, all the time, no more meat. Yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> Absolutely on the vegan train. We should have it so you can craft a cart to carry more grass around. That would be handy. I'd be down for that. Uh, I thought so. Yeah, I'd be all for having something that helps us carry more stuff. Vegan or vegetarian? I'm, I'm veg-vegan. I, uh, I only eat vegans. We've gone to the underground research base in the cave behind the acorns. Yep, we've done that too. So I've, I've been playing quite a bit since the game launched. Uh, I think this is the 17th time we've streamed it. I think was uh, was my count. Ah, there goes the two. 17 times we streamed it. So in that 17 times, we've, we've, uh, we haven't covered quite a few things. or found lots of stuff anyway. I'm sure there's still stuff I haven't seen, potentially. Obviously, things that are locked I haven't gone inside. Like, oh, yeah. I, I actually have the uh, the ant totem thing. I just don't have the parts to make it right now because I turned them into smoothies. <laughs> it's um, it's right here. It's under the, the, uh, the decor things. There's the ant, the ant head totem right there. Display a warning to hostile ants. <laughs> Actually, I think it's only, is it it's just ant parts and stuff? Ant heads, woven fiber, and sprigs. Even though it looks like the, the bottom part of it. Wait, was that ant heads or ant parts? No, it is ant heads, okay. It looks like the bottom part of it is like an ant leg instead of like for the, the stand part of it, but I guess it, it's a sprig, according to the game. Just doesn't look like it. Mmm, vegans, tasty with fava beans and Chianti. <laughs> if only I could do that, that noise that he makes. <laughs> Stop dodging me! There we go. 
Okay, we got a good stack. Uh, I'm all disoriented. There we go. <laughs> got a good stack of stuff. Let's uh, let's start putting things actually on the building here. Get that floor finished. Wife hates that noise, so naturally you do it all the time. Oh yeah, naturally. That's uh, that's uh, that's part of the marriage uh, license, right? Thou shalt do whatever bothers your spouse frequently. Yep, totally meant that to happen. <laughs> I think there's a floor there that's not quite finished that I stepped on. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it's quite a fall through there. Why can a skeleton only play music at church? Uh, yeah, I got me. I don't know. How big I would make this base? Big. Probably too big. Dramatically larger than we need it to be. <laughs> oh, I did it again. Stupid thing. You know what? Let's. I'm gonna. Let's stop doing that. We'll just load up. Because it takes four four of these planks for each one of those floor pieces. That's why I won't accidentally step on one that's not completed. So that's the lamb's good movie. It is a good movie. I haven't seen it in a long time, but... I'm, I'm constantly, when, when we're taking our kids out to go swimming or something, we're telling them to, like, put sunscreen on. So we're, you know, it's always, uh... It puts the lotion on the skin or it gets the hose again. It puts the lotion in the basket, but the kids just don't get it. <laughs> Probably a good thing. Is on cable there. It's actually pretty. Hold on a second here. <laughs> I missed something. It's actually pretty interesting, being that I traveled from there. Traveled from there where? Oh, from where? From Japan. Longest nine hours of your life. Not sure I understand where you traveled from. Is that like nine-hour flight time? Japan, yes. Ah, cool. I'd love to go to Japan one day. I haven't, uh, haven't been able to get there. I don't know if I ever will. It's on my list. I really like Japanese culture. Not that I'm hugely exposed to it being in Canada or anything, but the little bit that I've learned of it I really like. When the covered COVID climate, it's more like a case it puts the mask on its face or it gets the those again. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> What's he fly to Vietnam? I mean, even when I so I traveled to uh, to Barcelona and uh, and Rome a number of years ago, and even that flight I remember being a long time, uh, mostly because it was a layover in Switzerland. <laughs> My lady friends, yeah, he's really talkative over there. I'm gonna keep him. He's staying on the rock. I don't think he can get off of there. That'll be our new pet. It's our, it's our new pet, ladybug, uh, Doris. It's Doris. We use log it. <laughs> is logging where you're doing like a vlog, but it's all zombies? Is that, is that what that is? Yeah. So I should eat. <laughs> Japan is surprisingly racist, asked Gaijin Goomba. <laughs> That's cool. Whenever Corona stops, be sure to go. Well, I'm not sure that I'm... So it's not so much... A, I mean, the, the Corona is obviously you know, an issue for traveling and stuff, but it wasn't so much that that was preventing me from going. It's more, uh, it's more a fact of, uh, you know, cost and kids. Having kids now makes traveling a whole lot more challenging. So I have um, I have two daughters, and naturally, anytime we go someplace now, it costs you know ten times as much as it used to go when I was traveling single, which is interesting because you know there's only three more of them, but the cost is ten times higher. <laughs> so I don't uh, I don't foresee that we'll be doing that anytime in the near future. Plus, I'm um, getting my plane my kids on a plane for that long would just be that'd be torture for us. It's bad enough flying to Florida. Never mind a, a long overseas journey. 
Aw, oh, I'm literally like one little grass plank away from finishing the floor, finally. Rat. Drat, drat, drat. Just sell the kids. Two birds, one stone. Ah, brilliant. I also don't know how interested my wife is in going. So I think she'd like to see places like Italy and stuff. She hasn't traveled overseas before. I'd rather have your toes be fingers or your fingers be toes. I'd rather everything just stayed where it was. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm old-fashioned that way. So much grass. Went to roam without my wife. Yeah, it was before we were together. If she was girly, to have 20 fingers. Uh, I guess that's true. Ish. <laughs> Fox inflation because of marriage. That's right. It's the strangest thing. They don't tell you about that. <laughs> now you know. Okay, so we'll do um, four windows there, I guess. And then I guess we'll just do walls for this other part here. Make sure that's facing the correct way. Yep. Oh, that's weird. I forgot. This does not... This does not match up exactly. Okay, so because we're like a half step in, um, everything's a little bit different when I put this next level on. So where does that line up to the middle of things? Yeah, okay. So this next layer here is just a little bit off from the one that was below it, so I can't can't line up everything with the, with the panels that are underneath. They gotta be off just a little bit. There we go. How many pieces that? Two pieces, and then we'll do windows again. I think I'm gonna do. I'll do one one window on the sides, and then we'll do just the three on the front of the back. It's gonna take a lot of stems, otherwise. Ah, shoot. Okay, three windows in the middle. Yeah, like that. Oh, shoot. There. And then above that will be our next layer for the crazy slope roof thing. Which means we'll need more stairs. This is gonna take a lot of a lot of parts. A lot of two thousand parts. What am I working on? Uh, we're trying to make a, uh, a a building that's kind of like a like a Japanese feudal castle. It's um, it's it's a little bit iffy how it's gonna turn out just yet, but um, it's gonna be pretty tall by the time we're done. Hopefully, it looks good. If not, eh, whatever. At least we tried. <laughs> I think we should save just in case. <laughs> so. This, uh, this game, fortunately, doesn't have crashes, uh, it, and it has autosave, unlike, uh, unlike Windbound. Windbound, the Crash Master. <laughs> they should have just called the game the crash -ening. Okay, I gotta get stems. Tame four ants to pull a wagon like horses, that'd be neat. <laughs> I hope that, um, so they have indicated they're going to add some pets into the game. Um, I think the one that I saw that they had talked about was um, the aphid, for example. Which would be alright. But I'm hoping we can tame like ants and stuff and have them haul things for us. Because that would be cool. I'm going to get a little, little stunk out over here. Where's that dandelion? <laughs> Can't reach it. Far away. Don't 
Don't blow up on me, man. That's gonna be one of those mites, I guess. An army of ants, trick command. An, an, an army of army ants would be even better. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to tame the ants, but um, it looks like we'll be able to have pets like the aphid. The only real reason I want the ants to be tamed is because I want them to do something useful for me. I think that'd be neat. Put them to work. No, you can feed the ladybugs? Oh, yeah? I haven't tried feeding them. What do you feed them? In, like an aphid or something? Lovecraft Country is a good series to watch if you haven't already. Uh, I, You know what? I saw an... Uh, where did I see that today? I, I saw it somewhere, like a, a banner ad or something. I was like, oh. I hadn't, I hadn't seen it before. I was like, oh, that looks kind of cool. Nice to know it actually is cool. Instead of just seeming cool. And then here. Boom. Progress. You must watch. All right, I'll have to check it out. I do love the whole Lovecraftian horror stuff, so that'd be cool. Oh yeah, grass cutter and pet would be great. So I, when they made this game, I actually wonder if they anticipated just how much people would want to build in it. You know, like they got all this stuff in here as the basics, but I wonder when they added it in if they if they knew that people would really enjoy the building part of things, or whether they just thought it was just something minimal they were adding in to be complete kind of thing. Some little basins and stuff. Because what I've seen, like, there's people that are even, like, doing builds of something just in creative mode, which I guess would be dramatically faster than doing it this way. <laughs> Is that clay? That looks a lot like clay. Nah, it is not clay. It looked like clay, only lighter. It's only in episode three. Oh, I see. The anti-bug fortresses. I, I think it'd be neat if they had like an op like a, a phase of the game you could choose where the the insects attack you, like uh, almost like in Seven Days to Die, where you have like the waves of in of uh, zombies that come along. If they had, like, waves of insects attacking, that'd be kind of fun. But only if you, like, chose to do it. Like, in, like something you could, like, turn on and turn off. I think that'd be neat. I never did empty my inventory. I still can't pick up all these clovers. I'm gonna need them all, too. Oh, you had to fall in the water, didn't you? Don't step in the deep stuff. Ah, rat. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Come on, game. Don't do this to me. Oh, my inventory's full anyway. All right. Survival mode. Wait, we're, we're in a survival mode right now. Like, you could do a... They have creative mode where you can just go in building stuff. So much chopping and hauling. So you're Canadian, eh? You just don't sound like it. Are you a native? I am a native, yeah. But I work for a company that uh, that does business in the United States. So most of the people that I talk with for business are in the U.S. And so over time, I think I've kind of dropped a lot of the colloqu colloquialisms or whatever that I would use. Um, I don't say a nearly as often as I used to. It, uh, it's much more prevalent, I think, when I say certain words. Like, out, about, in a boat. Then it stands out. <laughs> but outside of those words, I think, uh, uh, people tend not to notice too often. Just by accident, anyway. What's the best place to build a base? Uh, I mean, that depends on what you want to do, I guess. I'm, uh, this area over here is really cool. Um, this is the, the pathway on, uh, on the left side of the yard, or the west side of the yard here. It's a stone path that goes between the house and the shed. 
And there's lots of flat surfaces in here. I'm, I'm kind of thinking, like, we're building this first base here, but... Um, depending on how this turns out, we might build on some of these other rocks, too, and make, like, almost like a big fortress kind of thing. I think that'd be cool. Hey, Gordon Fox, greetings from Japan. Hey, LQ, another person from Japan. Awesome. I'd say something in Japanese, but I wouldn't want to say it wrong and insult somebody. <laughs> with all with all four words that I know. <laughs> Fox, we notice you're Canadian because you're so nice, not because of your accent. Well, see, that's a that's a uh, that's a stereotype that's not necessarily always on par. There's plenty of Canadians that are jerks. Hey, cryptic! Third time catching the stream. Big love from Scotland. Hang in Scotland. Another place on my list of spots that I want to go. And that's one that I'm actually likely to get my wife to one day. <laughs> Japan's that split, that place that I'd love to go to that I, I'm fairly certain I'll never get my wife to go. If you don't get insulted, it's nice when people try. Onigashimasu. It's one of the few things I know. <laughs> Okay, I need more, more grass to chop. Good Fox, did you say the super chat? Oh, was there a super chat? Sorry, I uh, was focused on other things. Just do it with a super chat. Say B instead of I to confuse them. Say B instead of I? Oh, A. Oh, B instead of A. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> Say B instead of A. That see that would take a little practice to get used to. <laughs> hey, stop! You live in the good old in good old Canada hype. Nice. We got people from all over the world to come and hang on the stream. I'm always kind of impressed by that. Not as many people in the in the UK typically, just because of the time of day that I tend to stream. But uh, there's every now and then we'll get people from. Uh, well, I mean, we have people here from Scotland right now, and some people from England will be on here. Very cool. All these places I want to travel to that I haven't gone yet. Has a wolf spider returned yet? Uh, I don't think it has actually. He hides like right here. Or, well, not not hide per se. He sleeps like right here. No, he's not back yet. He learned his lesson the first time we spanked him. Stupid spider. Go to Korea? I mean, that would be cool. But again, uh, I, I, I think the odds are really good that um, at some point I'll get my wife to Europe. Not as good that I'll get her to the Asian countries. I don't think she just, she just doesn't have much interest in it. She's much more into, like, the royals from England. And um, we did... Uh, um, we did that ancestry DNA thing to see what our, our DNA origins were like. Because I've always, uh, so my dad was an orphan, and my grandfather on my mother's side was also an orphan. So my uh, my uh, family tree's always been very truncated for me, and I had no idea what my family origins were like. So we decided to do the uh, ancestry DNA thing. Turns out I'm like, uh, uh, like, well, part English, part Scottish, and like, one percent from somewhere some someplace like Sweden or something like that. It's just there's always that like one percent they mix in there that's from some other country. <laughs> it's like it's the it's the the one percent cover your butt um number. You're like, well, you know, just in case, we'll throw in that extra one percent. Got it. Korea would be cool to see, though. Actually, I, I mean, Asian culture in general. I took a course in university. Uh, my second year at university, I, I took a course on uh, uh, Asian history. A lot of it I don't remember because it was a really long time ago, and I, I didn't. I took it for my own informational purposes, and not so much because I had any <laughs> any specific use for it, but. Always had an interest in that kind of stuff. Been in Edinburgh, Scotland, awesome place. I believe it. 
And my, I don't think my chat's working. Hold on. I think I think my chat stalled. Sorry, when I click off the game, the uh, the sound stops. Survey says there we go. Now it's working. Perfect. Answer is really so interesting. Yeah, my brother was much more into it than I was when, uh, you know, when, when we were younger. Um, so I, I didn't really have a terribly big interest in it. I've always just thought of myself as being Canadian because that's all I know. Uh, and I and it sometimes frustrates me when people are always something else before they're Canadian. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'm just Canadian. So uh, I ended up getting one of the ancestry things for Christmas. We decided to try it out just to, just to see. And, uh, yeah, so that was my mix. So then we tried it with our dog. <laughs> and, uh, those results were less, uh, less reassuring because the, the accuracy we really questioned. She's, um, our dog, um, she presents as a Rhodesian Ridgeback. So she's, she's got that sort of size and shape and she's got that ridge of hair up the, up the, the middle of her back. And... The uh, the DNA test came back and said that her most her, her largest DNA trait was cocker spaniel. We're like, nope, <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> oh god. Need a bridge over the puddle? I have a bridge over the puddle. I have them over two puddles. I have this one and that one. Two bridges. One bridge. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, two bridge. So I'll leave those there. Get them on the way back. Arkansas. You're saying it wrong. It's Arkansas. The dog DNA thing is actually a scam-ish. Yeah, I mean, uh, so we did. They actually, when you send in the DNA, they tell you to send a picture as well. And so my wife was like, "You know what? I'm not sending a picture. Forget that. If they're supposed to be so good, they should be able to tell us without being able to see her." And so they came back with all these dog, this dog mix that was just nothing like what our dog is. <laughs> We're like, yeah, that's um, that's a little bull. Visit Portugal. Portugal would be cool too. I really enjoyed Spain when I was there. That was cool. But we only went to uh, only went to Barcelona when I was there though. We didn't have, didn't really have time or opportunity, I guess, to go out and see much of the country. And I guess Barcelona is like the least representative of Spain, as I understand it. Um, because it's more, it's like the Catalan, uh, I don't know how to say it, but the, the Catalan or Cap Catalan culture more so. So like to really experience it, you, you want to see like that, but then you also want to see other parts of Spain. So you see like the mix of the two cultures. And then we went over to Rome and I was there for a week. Uh, we did a day trip to like Florence to check out the Uffizi Gallery and stuff. That was cool. Must do better with humans than canines. Well, see, the thing is, they know everyone's a human to start with. Catalonian? Is it Catalonian? I always get that messed up. Nevertheless, it was cool. Uh, Barcelona is now my favorite city. I've been to I've been to like a bunch of places in North America, like New York, Las Vegas. You know, a bunch of places in Canada, that sort of thing. But I think. Um, I think Barcelona is my favorite city so far. Did you go to William Wallace's grave when you were in England? Uh, we, we didn't really go to England. Um, we just went to... Uh, my wife wants to go to England. But... Um, yeah. Just um, just uh, Italy and... Uh, Italy and Barcelona. God, I gotta remember to empty my inventory. <laughs> I keep see looking at these clovers and not picking them up. Oh, we'll do it this time. I swear. I'm gonna memory like a sieve. I'm gonna do a history of your pit bull and send them a pic of a poodle. <laughs> They'll come back and tell you it's a poodle. Just you wait. Just you wait. I, I'm 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 on uh, I'm on rabbit dog side here. I think it's a, I think it's a big scam. Oh, the bird. <laughs> Heard that noise, I was like, did something just explode? It was the bird. Alright, we got room to carry all that stuff. Oh, you know what? I should probably uh, probably eat something. 
There we go. You've said it a Barcelona accent. Barcelona is uh, pronounced Barcelona. Okay. I'd buy that for a dollar. Do I have the old bases? Oh, I still do. Yeah, you can actually see the one in the tree over there. So there's um, there's our tower that we built up with the elevator thing next to it into the the tree base. Uh, so yeah, I didn't destroy anything. We're just uh, we're just building a new one. Something to something to keep adding on. There's not a lot of content in the game now for the actual. Um, you know, the actual story component of it. So we got through that relatively quickly, and now we're just having fun you know, playing around. And, and we've done a bunch of Burgo quests, um, done a bunch of exploring and stuff, and I thought it would be fun to make uh, make some different base buildings. Just kind of neat structures and stuff to build. I like, uh, I like that kind of aspect of these games. Uh, what was the game you streamed a week ago with the pillows and frogs and pigs? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Pillows and frogs and pigs. <laughs> I actually, I actually don't even know. I have no idea what that is. Pillows and frogs and pigs, oh my! I can't. Um. Yeah, I have. I have no idea. I want to take my wife on vacation to Tar Sands near Edmonton and <laughs> watch the big cat trucks. <laughs> hey, honey, I've got the most romantic vacation planned. We're going to go look at some sticky black sand and watch giant machinery work in it. <laughs> I guess if that's her thing, then that works. But if not, you might want to consider talking to a lawyer before you go. <laughs> did, you have to, did you have to be on drugs to see the stream? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna have to start brushing up on other languages if I'm gonna be, if I'm ever gonna get a chance to travel. That way, when I go, I can say things wrong and insult people accidentally. <laughs> Person, woman, man, TV, pillows, pigs. That's right. <laughs> I think he means you were stabbing the pig for bacon and then getting owned by that rhino thing. Oh, that was um, that was just last night. That was last night. We were after the bacon. Mmm, bacon. That was Windbound. Uh, fun game, but it crashed a lot on me. Hopefully it's just my computer and not the game in general. The continental language, just hold up your, your middle finger up. I'm Canadian, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, I got a reputation to maintain, you know? I gotta, like, when we tell people we're Canadian, we gotta, we gotta make sure we keep that whole, oh, they're so nice kind of thing. That way when we rip them off, they never see it coming. Crash bound. Yes, that's right. It was crash bound. How cold can I get during winters in your part of Canada? Uh, where I am in southern Ontario, it doesn't really get that cold. I mean, it gets cold. Um, for, when it's really cold out here, it's uh, 20 degrees below zero uh, Celsius. That's pretty much where, it, where it, uh, it's cold as it gets, I think, for the most part. I mean, I think occasionally it will get a little bit colder than that, but not really. And most of the time... Um, it hovers closer to, to zero degrees Celsius through most of the winter and then late in winter It will average more around like minus ten um, I used to live out west in uh, Manitoba and the average temperature during the winter time would be like minus 40 uh, Which is the same in Celsius and Fahrenheit That was very cold <laughs> But it was a dry cold The thing with uh, with Ontario winter is that it's damp so when it's cold out, it, it like, it, it, you know, it's, it's cold. It's not super duper ultra freezing, but uh, but it's the dampness that kind of like seeps through your clothing. So you, you can never really stay warm sometimes. Have I discovered any mutation, new mutations? No, but I've leveled up a couple. So uh, I still have uh, five of them that are uncovered. Apparently one of these is a multiplayer mutation that I don't have. But um, I haven't... Um, Uh, I haven't found any new one, new ones yet. Wait a minute. That, these are not... Walls are not right. These are not right. Please don't break everything down on me when I break this. Whew. Okay, good. <laughs> I wasn't entirely sure it wasn't going to like cause a chain reaction. <laughs> So 
So these inside walls in the lower level, I'm going to do them after. Um, I'm, I'm mostly looking at like how this looks from the outside. We'll fill that in later. The cool uh, thing about Manitoba is the vast variety between winter and summer. Yeah, so summers were beautiful out there. Uh, and again, it would, it would be you know, a little bit more dry. My dad had a farm out there. So uh, we'd go out and visit and stuff when I was younger. And then I, I went to uh, went to university for a year in Manitoba. Oh my god, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it gets really cold in the winter times. So you get like minus 40 is the average, and then in the summertime it gets nice and hot. The thing is, the summer's just shorter, that's all. It's been 33 to 36 degrees Celsius in Japan recently. Yeah, that's pretty warm. Joker, NYC, Workers' Comp, Ant Head, uh, Ant Head, Ant Part, Ant Mandible, Hall 10. Also set up mutations. I forgot the name of it, but it's for reviving. My friend unlocked it. Yeah, the the um, the smoothie I have, I have I actually have six of them already created in my slot number six there. I've used it a couple times tonight. Um, that other mutation, like the the one for reviving your friend, I haven't seen. But thanks for the super chat. Thirty-three to thirty-six in Japan. Yeah, that's actually that's fairly similar to what we get around here in the summertime. I don't know how humid it is in Japan, but. Just gotta make sure that if I go to Japan, I can remember how to order beer. That, that's that's super important. Nibiru <laughs> dozo. Gotta start building upper pallets and put your grass loads on, or some kind of bridge going up there to get the second level window. Um, yeah, well, I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna have to do stairs to get ready for that next floor. But yeah, as this, like the harder we, the um, the higher we start building up, the more of a pain it's going to be to bring the, the supplies up. Similar to like when we were building the tree, only obviously we're not going up as high. Lover Channel found you by Hollow Knight. Welcome, Scourge. Hollow Knight's a great game. I had so much fun with that. <laughs> sake. Gotta go. Gotta go with the sake. <laughs> I probably have never had good sake to be honest. Cool home, thanks. Hopefully it turns out good. I'm trying to I'm trying to go for like the um, the Japanese feudal castle style. Whether <laughs> whether it's gonna work or not remains to be seen, but that's what I'm that's what I'm attempting for. What do you mean order? You just buy the beer from vending machines? Oh. Well that makes it easier. <laughs> the new translation apps are good. I used to be more interested in languages when I was younger. So at one point, uh, when I was in high school, I had learned how to order beer in like six different countries. <laughs> at the point, I was at the point where I wasn't really drinking yet, but I figured it was it was good to be prepared. Basically, eighty percent humidity for a pint of draft beer. Nama beer no pento onagashimas. Nama beer, nama beer no pento. What's no pento? Try warm sake with chambered, chambered, chambered. Again, uh, so I, I think I, I have tried sake before, but um, I, I doubt it was a good quality one. Depending on where you go, is like quite hectic. I don't recommend visiting for now. <laughs> Nowhere's good to visit right now. <laughs> it means no paint in my beer, please. Yes, rabbit dog. That's a, that would be the literal translation. Kind of drop here. Is it is the uh, no painto? Is that um is that to s saying that you want draft? Had an amazing sake at a Japanese restaurant. I don't remember which one. It was 14 years ago. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I barely remember what I did last week. Never mind. 14 years ago. What am I hoping for the most to come to grounded? The ability to ride on dragonflies and fly around. If I had fun with Google Translate. Who's that? Uh, isn't there a um. One of those late show people does uh, the Google translated songs where they're doing like karaoke and they put the song into, into Google Translate and then they translate it back. <laughs> those are funny. Uh, all right, let's set, um, we'll set our stairs up for the next floor here. 
I'm gonna need I'm gonna need flooring before I can actually put this on here. Oh, is it Jimmy Fallon? Okay, yeah. P.F. Chang says sake. Close to P.F. Chang's to me is in like Buffalo. <laughs> they don't have them in Canada. At least I don't think they do. Okay, so I want this to be. You know what? Let's plan this ahead of time. I'm gonna plan for it to be the half measures. Actually, is that gonna work? It's not gonna work with my. St oh, that might work with my stairs. Hold on. Let's see. Nope. Can't join it. That's interesting. I guess I could just do the scaffold underneath here. I can do like phantom scaffold and not, not actually build it later. Like so. That'll get us up to that level that I need. The hard part is going to be... the ha Oh, actually, I think I got it set up for the half steps already. For left and right also. That should, that should actually work good. I think this will work a little bit better. So on this one, the floor I didn't get extended out properly... I probably am going to have to... <laughs> oh my god, I built all that floor, and now I just realized how I could fix it. <laughs> no! Alright, I'm gonna leave it. I'm not a glutton for punishment. I'm not breaking all that floor and redoing it. It takes too much. Uh, Nama means draft. Painto is pronounced kind of like uh, Pinto. It's just Pint... Oh, Pinto. Okay, I get it. I get it. Japanese never has stairs in the middle of the room. You lie. We can fix it later. <laughs> Wait, what did? Oh, I got the stem. Will the clay corners fit in the gap in the floor? Um, no. So the, the clay pieces you can't put on an elevated section. They've got to be in contact with the ground. And it seems like at least half of the piece has to be in contact with the ground to place it. So in order to do uh, in order to do floor pieces, you have to use the grass. Okay, <laughs> we're all we're gonna need more grass again. <laughs> okay, so now this here um, again, we're gonna do that half step back um, with the next piece. So this will go on to here. Oh. Go into there. <laughs> I can't get it. I'm not gonna be able to get it to snap very well from here. So that'll be the layer that goes around that way. And I think I've got it spaced properly now, so it will do the, the corners properly. Before I actually start building it too much, I, I actually wanna. I don't think I can reach it from here. Can I jump that far? Okay. <laughs> I guess that'll work. Okay. I want to make sure this is going to fit the corners. Yeah, it looks like it will. Yeah, like that. See? Perfect. Okay, good. Oh my god. <laughs> we got so much grass to get again. <laughs> and a lot of stems, because we need stems for all of those surrounding root pieces. Oh boy. I'm going to need more uh, more quartzite, I think. I'm down to just one piece, and my blade's going to break again. All right, let's make a torch. We'll go We'll go hit up the anthill. Hey, but maybe we'll check for, uh, for eggs while we're there, too, just on a whim. <laughs> need more fiber. I'd love to do the spiral stairs on this build, but I think it might get dizzy. <laughs> Man, I, I got dizzy going up the tree. That was nutty. I... I <laughs> I don't recommend doing that. I mean, it worked, but it uh, definitely made me dizzy going up and down that thing. Can you build multi-levels like Clay Castle? Um, you can. Yep. Because you, could, you could stack the foundations. Like, if you wanted to do um, like this, you, you could do an actual Clay Castle building it up this way. You would just have to remember that your your foundation pieces always have to be in contact. So like you can't you can't use them to bridge gaps. So you could do like all of your all of your pillars and stuff and all of your walls, but anywhere you had to like cross over a door or a window, you couldn't do it. That's that's the only problem. 
go check out the anthill. I always need more fiber. I've got fiber stored in there, but and there's lots of it laying around here, but I just didn't have it on me. It was in my chest. You can see it's starting to look like your vision. It's getting there. It's getting. There. It's going to take a lot. I, I don't like. I said I don't know how it's going to work. The, the hard part is that as you go up the floors, it starts to get a little more decorative, where you got like the angled pieces on the front, and I'm I'm not sure how I'm going to make those work just yet. Oregon has this valley, and it's full of crazy people. Is it, by any chance, is it called Oregon? <laughs> it's like it's a whole state. <laughs> Everybody's crazy. Are there elevators? Not exactly. You uh, we, you can kind of create one using the jump pads. Um, and we built one in... Uh, built one on the tree for our tree base. It's not truly an elevator, but it kind of works like one. It, it actually works really good. It's very handy for getting up the tree. Um, you can kind of see it from here a little bit. So this column right here where my dot is is the spiral stairs I built up. And then next to that, I did a stacked column of uh, uh, trampolines. And that's our uh, that's kind of our elevator to get up there. Like I said, it's not a real elevator. It's a fake one, but it does the job. the wrong button, pulled my shovel out instead of my torch. It'd be amazing if there was uh, eggs in here and we could just mine with the grenades. <laughs> and for Buffalo, it's basically Canada, but more rude. <laughs> Well, plus, uh, anywhere, anytime it's snowing anywhere in North America, it's also snowing in Buffalo. All that wonderful lake effect snow. <laughs> Should put in grass cutting achievement. There's not an achievement for it, but there is a there is a. Uh, a trait for it. Oh man, these guys are really. There's a lot of warrior ants in here. Soldier ants, whatever they're called. Lake effect is great in the summer, though. It's okay for cooling down, I guess. It does. It does tend to cause some humidity, though, too. The ant will kill you. No, they won't. Um, they won't kill me if I can't pick it up. That um, that egg that's over there is. Uh, it's almost like a decorative one to show where they spawn. At least that's how it seems. You can't actually pick... Man, there's a lot of... There are so many soldier ants in here. Like, even more than we used to see in here. Look at them all. They've been busy multiplying or something. Okay, I'm gonna hit this, but I don't want to hit the ant. I'm low on... Oh, food and water. Food and water. Play gun games here? Uh, I play, play some shooter games, but not a lot. I tend to tend to lean away from those. Not that I don't enjoy them. It just um, it just wasn't the, ton of, the type of content and the type of audience I've largely steered toward. I did play Fortnite for a while. Uh, and I have to say that when I was playing Fortnite, the general audience got to be a lot more toxic than I prefer. Every now and then I'll play Apex. Just for kicks, but usually I'll make those streams unlisted when I'm done. More, I, I tend to more focus on things like uh, survival games, colony management type games, simulation games, um, some roguelite style games, that kind of stuff. Is Seven Days to Die not a shooter? No, it's Seven Days to Die is a survival game. Yeah, it has shooting in it because you shoot the zombies or whatever, but I, I tend to think of shooters more like... Uh, you know, like the Tom Clancy games or uh, Call of Duty, that kind of stuff. The fact that it has guns in it and you use them on the zombies doesn't inherently make it a shooter, I don't think. Are you going to play Small Land when it comes out? Yeah, I am. For sure. Okay, we got a lot of quartzite now. No eggs, though. No eggs!
Fine, no advertisement, but it's got my birthday, and I watch Fox all the time, so it would be cool to get a happy birthday from him. Pretty pleased with sugar on top. Well, happy birthday. Hi, everyone. Will the chat's live and stay. Yeah, what's good, uh, good conversation stuff today? I mean, we're... <laughs> We're not, we're we're uh, we're focused on some um, some pretty repetitive stuff in the uh, in the stream part of it today. So hopefully the uh, hopefully the conversation's at least engaging. Because <laughs> because I, I recognize that when we're building, it takes a lot of chopping, and that's not the most exciting thing to watch. Why do I feel like I'm in the wrong spot? Oh, there, <laughs> facing the wrong way. So I was expecting a lot more grass to obscure my view. <laughs> What a coincidence, you just turned 18. Awesome. Well, happy birthday to everyone who's having birthdays. Congrats on becoming older and staying on the proper side of the lawn. <laughs> Have I played Fallout 76? I played it a little bit. Um, they had a free weekend thing and I, I checked it out. We played it a little bit on the channel, but I didn't play it much. That's a game that I, I always really wanted to like and just didn't super get into. Um, yeah. I like the I like the whole concept and the premise of it, and I just I have I didn't really uh, dive headlong into it. Hello to you. Well, hello to you too. Poor Brittany she says one thing, Fox says another. Well, sorry. What did Brittany say? <laughs> what what I miss? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with asking to say happy birthday, I don't think. Dull is only fun when you can make enough money to be a kid again. Yeah, well, there's that. <laughs> and being an adult is interesting because, I mean, you get the, uh, you do get that earning potential, which unlocks some things. Uh, will I stream Fight Sim 2020? I, I considered playing it uh, and streaming it, but there's other games that I wanted to play more that were coming out around the same time, so I didn't really jump into it. Um, so, short story long, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, I better keep, like, 10 of these on me. Oh, they were banging for a shadow. Oh, I see. Well, I didn't say their name. I just said happy birthday. So, I didn't do, I didn't do it, I didn't do it all wrong. I did it partly right. <laughs> you play Skyrim, The Elder Scrolls? I have played Skyrim. Uh, I never finished it. Again, that was a game, I kind of got into it and played it for a bit. Had fun with it, and then I got distracted by something else and never felt the urge to go back. No Man's Sky, we, I played once. Uh, we played that on the channel once, actually. When it was added to the Xbox Game Pass, I tried it. It was okay. I didn't find it super captivating. Fox, please, the stairs. What stairs? Ain't got no stairs. Talk about these stairs? Right here? Those stairs? We're not building those stairs. <laughs> Give Ark Survival of all another go? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I had fun with that game, but I mean, I don't, I don't do the whole tribe thing so much. And um, you know, when you're playing solo in that game, it's hard because you, you, know, you, when you're playing on a server, if you play on the servers where, where other people are, I kind of like the idea of like interacting with other people in the game, but I don't necessarily want to do PvP because I'm not in a tribe, and my stuff would just get smashed all the time. But if you play on the public servers and the people land claim everywhere and then you can never get a decent spot to build and I don't know. Not that it's not a good game or anything, but I just uh I kinda tired of it. Yeah, we don't need no stinking stairs. We've got a flying bridge. Stairs. We laugh in the face of your physics. Ha 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 ha. Finally well, got a live stream. Love the content. Well, welcome, Reox TRM, Reoxstrom, Rex, 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 Rex <laughs> Welcome, just the same, even though I can't say your name. You going to SawCon next year? I have no idea what SawCon is, so I'm guessing probably not. I know. Uh, oh, PAX East is coming up soon. Um, only it's like digital PAX East this year, because you know everything's shut down. So they're doing like instead of it being like a four-day thing, it's like ten days and it's all digital online with all the streamed kind of stuff. I got a media pass for that, but I have no idea what the media pass means. 
in that context. Bruh! Lol, Sawcon? I... <laughs> Mega lols? I'm old, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, one of those. I got you now. <laughs> There's always one somewhere. But um bump. I just got hit by the ligma. You know your old one. Have a game I like to play, Rainbow Six Siege. It's a fun game, but it's a gun game. It's free on. You play for a limited time. Yeah, I've, I'm, I'm familiar with Rainbow Six Siege. I, I've heard of it being a really good game, but it's not something that super appeals to me, I guess. <laughs> I can't tell you. It's a secret. What if a human stepped on my house? I'd, I'd be all upset. Do you know how long it takes to build things in this game? Creative mode is fine. You get unlimited building materials. You just, like... Throw stuff up. <laughs> okay, that's a good name. You started reading this for nothing. I like that name, especially when you, like, retract your messages. <laughs> Priceless. Try the game and see if it's fine for the channel for you. Um, I, here's the thing. It's a bit of an older game. Um, whenever I'm playing stuff on, on the channel, I'm always balancing a couple of factors. So, you know, I, I tend to play a, a, a lot of newer games as they come out. Because there's the interest there. I want to check them out. That kind of thing. Um, the companies that make the games want the exposure for them. So, they'll provide keys and stuff for us to, to play them so that people can see the game. Uh, and that's all cool. Um... Uh, but oftentimes I'm kind of balancing between like what I want to play in terms of what I'll enjoy and what people want to see. Um, because, you know, if I'm playing games that nobody wants to watch, then, I, you know, I'm, it kind of kills my channel growth. And then I'm just kind of just kind of playing games for myself at that point. Um, so it's always like a, a mix between what I really want to play and what I think people will want to watch. And I try to find that happy ground in between. Like Grounded is one of those cool games where... I really enjoyed playing it, and I wanted to play more of it. And people seem to like watching it, even when I'm just building stuff, <laughs> which is, which is even better. So that's why I played this a whole bunch, um, because there's the interest there for it. But um, something like um, Rainbow Six or whatever, um, there's already a bajillion videos out there for it, and I really have nothing to add. Rainbow Six is super toxic online. Just not <laughs> well, I find most. Um, most of those um, shooting games are, uh, they tend to have a pretty a pretty toxic audience. It's just part of the, the culture of those style of games, I think. This reminds me of the graphic novel In the Small. I don't think I've seen that. I've seen uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. <laughs> but I, I don't think I've seen that graphic novel. Ground is just a good game overall. It's got a good foundation to it, right? Like, I'm hoping they hoping they do good things with it as it as it expands. This I should probably do some of this. Hey, Fox, me again from last stream. Did you miss me? Hi, David Hall. Uh, I have a horrible memory for names, so I'm gonna go with yes, yes, I did. <laughs> Frogs will be horrifying. I'm not sure if they're gonna add frogs or not, but yes, that would be that would be so spooky. It'd be amazing if like the the frog could like grab you with its tongue and pull you into its mouth, and then you have to like struggle to get out. <laughs> have I played Subnautica Below Zero? Yeah, I have actually. We have a game mid progress right now. Uh, I have it scheduled to play that tomorrow night. That'll be at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Helps that you engage with this while you play. Probably makes building a little less mundane for you. It does, yeah. <laughs> it does. I mean, well, here's the thing, too. I I, am, I understand when, when you have a massive channel and you've got, like, 40,000 people watching you or something, you really can't engage with people in the chat because the chat just flies by so fast you can't really even read it. So I get why those people don't really to a great degree. But on my channel, you know, a, a good-sized stream is, you know, between one and 2,000 people. And I can still read comments, even though I miss a lot. I can, I can still read comments and respond to them. And I think that's what... I think, for me, I think that's what streaming is ultimately about in the first place. 
if I was just going to play the game and not interact with people, uh, like, there's no point in streaming it. I might as well just record it and upload it. Plus, see, like, a uh, was it Buster Rake? G'day from Tasmania. See, plus I get to encounter people from, like, all over the world when I'm streaming, which is cool. I think that's, I think I'm the first person who I've seen on stream that's from, from Tasmania. Not including all those crashes you had, the game was interesting. Yeah, I agree. I like that game. It's got a neat style to it. I wonder, like, uh, and I, I like the idea of, like, building up the boat and making it bigger and that kind of thing. That's kind of cool. The fact that it has some, some good sailing mechanics and stuff to it in terms of, like, the wind, wind and water physics. That's fun. I think the, re the the reviews for it have been mixed in part because um, it's it doesn't have a lot of content yet in it either. Similar to uh, similar to Grounded, it doesn't really have a ton. So I think what people had found is they kind of got through the game relatively quickly. But it's because it's a survival style game. You could probably also just make it take longer if you wanted to. <laughs> I think my chat stopped moving again. Uh, sorry, hold on. Gotta refresh. It did. There we go. When you die, you lose your boat, though. Yeah, that does suck. You actually read our BS. <laughs> I told you, I miss a lot of it, but I do try to catch as much as I can. Check if a friend wanted to come. Uh, okay. The boss trying to use an emo, but it doesn't work. <laughs> you know, worms and centipedes would be so awesome, and maybe mounts you can ride around on ant or beetle, like, and also like dragonfly eggs you can eat. I actually, I want to fly on a dragonfly in this game. I think that would be cool. I don't know if they'll do it because, to a degree, it would shrink. It would shrink the map so much being able to fly. That it might take away from the game a little bit. So I'm curious to see what, if they'll do anything like that. But I think that would be neat. Plus it would just look cool. Like if you had to like craft a saddle or something. And then ride around on the back of a dragonfly. I'd be down for that. Have you notice any, any Honey I Shrunk the Kids Easter eggs? Uh, I don't think so. Not that I can think of. I'd rather fight a, a snake, frog, spider, or 100 ants. Uh, probably 100 ants. <laughs> Turn one of those pop cans into a multi-story building and use the inside as a bit of a bunker. Nice. Deep question. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? And how do you feel about that at the current moment? Oh, that is a deep question. People don't normally ask deep questions. Usually it's like, what's your food? Are you hungry? <laughs> uh, I actually wanted to be a doctor when I was younger. Um, I thought I wanted to be a pediatrician in particular. When I was in high school, I did uh, I did a co-op. I don't know if they have those in the States or not, but I did a co-op at a local hospital on the pediatrics floor. And that cured me of wanting to be a pediatrician because I, I couldn't handle the, uh, the kids when they're sick. Or they're just It's so pathetic, it's heartbreaking. So I still wanted to be a doctor. I actually went to uh, my first year of university. I did a pre-med course. Um, and then realized I hated it. So I ended up switching to business. Now that being said, I probably would be a lot better off financially right now if, uh, if I had been a doctor. But I also probably wouldn't be playing video games on stream right now either. <laughs> so I guess I'm alright with it. Everything seems to have kind of worked out alright. Again, I, I definitely would have been paid a whole lot more. <laughs> I played a game called Forza Horizon 4. If you haven't, you should. I, I think I did actually. It was. Um, I think it's part of Xbox Game Pass. I don't play a ton of driving games. Um, I tried that one out just for kicks when it was coming out because it was free. But uh, yeah, I, I play games that have driving in them and then I do it poorly. But I don't generally play too many games where uh, driving is the main focus. 
Wow, lol, life happens, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I went through my first year of university, and I had, uh, my first year sucked. <laughs> it was pre-med, so I had, like, I had, um, zoology, biology, botany, calculus, physics, um, microbiology, and I don't remember what else. It was just a, it was just a ridiculous course load. Oh, chemistry. Um, and the first year chemistry, I think it was a full year. And it was, it was just, it was excruciating. Like, we got to the section on organic chemistry, and I, I just wanted to, like, shove splinters through my eyeballs. <laughs> so I, uh, I didn't, I didn't ultimately end up, end up enjoying the course and stuff. And, and so I thought, after my first year, I was like, do I really want to spend another six years between completing my undergrad and then going to med school only to do something I'm, I'm really not going to like? So at that point I was like, yeah, I uh I think I'm just going to switch. <laughs> it's like I switched to uh switched to business instead. But yes, organic chemistry was hard. It was just brutal. Like so the, the first year chemistry course at, at at the school I went to, they called everyone called it killer chemistry. Um because it was the course that that 50% of the class failed every semester. Terrible. You wouldn't get paid enough, uh, paid enough for the time you have to invest as a doctor. Well, it depends. I mean, I, I've looked at what the average is that doctors get paid in Canada. And I don't think it's the same as in the U.S. Because in the, in the U.S. it's private, so they have the opportunity to bill a little bit differently. But I think the, a the average for a doctor here, non-specialist, non-surgeon, is between two hundred and three hundred thousand dollars a year. And in Canada, um, university isn't as, isn't as expensive as it is in the U.S. So, you know, I was paying ten thousand dollars a year for tuition, not a hundred thousand dollars a year. Love your gratitude streams. I go back and watch them when I play myself. Awesome, Ryan. Glad you enjoy them. What's one year college for computer tech? The second year you had to drop out and became a firefighter, and really haven't looked back yet. That's awesome. That's that is a dramatic switch. See, I thought mine was dramatic. <laughs> But yours went the other way. Because <laughs> I, I, I feel like switching to business was the, the less interesting choice. <laughs> Being a firefighter, though, that's interesting. I feel like firefighters don't get paid enough for what they expect, what's expected of them, but it's an awesome, awesome career. That's that thing when, as a kid, like, you ask kids, like, what do they want to be? And they, always, they all want to be, like, a firefighter or a cop kind of thing. That's really cool. Have you ever ventured to Florida before? Just curious. I have, yeah. I've been a couple times. Um, we took the kids to Disney World. Uh, twice now, actually. Um, the first time we took them, my, my youngest daughter was too young. She was uh, she was not not easily managed at, at Disney World because she just got too cranky. It was really hot. And the kids really weren't weren't familiar with the kind of heat that we were dealing with. So it was, it was excruciating. I think the fireflies would be so cool in this game. They're going to be adding fireflies, actually. I think there's a, there's a, a helmet or a headpiece or something you can wear in the game later on. It's not in the game yet, obviously, but there's one you can craft that is supposed to be made with firefly parts. I'm kind of hoping it sheds light so you, like, you don't have to carry a torch, because that would be amazing. Engineer, train engineer, that was yours? Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, that would be neat. Program PLCs for industrial automation. No college. We love what you do. PLC. What's a PLC again? I've probably heard the term before, but I can't think of what it is. You want to be a YouTuber? It's it's actually amazing. So uh, I, I read an article not long ago, where it, you know, it used to be you would go in, they'd go into classrooms and ask kids, "What do you want to be when you grow up?" And you would get all like the, you know, the fighter, fighter, policeman, doctor, nurse, whatever, all that kind of stuff, lawyer. And now apparently there's a really high proportion of kids when they ask them want to be a YouTuber. It's not a, I mean, it's not a, it's not a good financial secure, financial security kind of job, because <laughs> it's low rate of success for uh, for good growth. And then, at any moment, YouTube can just, like, pull your business right out from underneath you if they change their rules around. 
But if people do well at it, I've seen people do exceptionally well, money-wise. Heard about the devs room for this game yet? Kind of gives you a look at what's coming in the future. I've seen other people playing around with it. Um, I made a point of not trying to crack into it myself. I just wanted to play the game. Plus, other, other people were already showing it off. So I was like, well, do I really just want to be doing exactly what they're already doing? So I saw like um, Jade RP getting in, getting in there and showing a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I didn't really think I had anything to add there. So I, I figured I would just wait for the content to come out. Kid wants to be an astronaut if we watch the last SpaceX launch. He said, like, go for it, kid. Go to Mars. Nice. <laughs> yeah, he's like, go to, go to Mars. I'll pay for it. <laughs> Just don't expect Dad to visit, all right? <laughs> oh, I can't put this corner piece on. I'm going to have to do a... I have to put an actual corner piece in here, I guess. One of these. One of these, one of those, if it'll let me... Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I can actually place this corner piece on there. Maybe I got it angled wrong. No? Nope. Huh. How about now? There we go. Do corner square. I guess that's what I want. I can't see. <laughs> I gotta rotate it. There we go. Oh, that's so weird. Okay, so I can't put the, uh... I can't put those, uh, corner pieces on the roof until I've actually done the, uh, the floor pieces, I guess. There we go. Man, it's gonna look really cool when it's done, I think. Your co is your co-worker's wife works for SpaceX. That's so cool. Gotta watch her working in the launch tower, prepping the crew on the first SpaceX manned rocket. Wow, that's really awesome. It's uh, it's pretty incredible what SpaceX has managed to accomplish. When you consider what NASA did, you know, they, obviously they, they pioneered all that stuff, but the fact that um, SpaceX was able to take that, you know, the, the basis of rocket science and turn it into like reusable systems and everything is pretty incredible plus like landing the rockets that's so that's so wicked <laughs> i love watching those launches still like a big kid every castle needs a tower well this is um this is a, like a japanese feudal style castle so um it doesn't really have a tower per se it's more like um uh, it's more like a pagoda kind of structure Go to Mars is constantly becoming cheaper uh, to bring f four people at six billion than f four billion for every next man mission. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I won't be going to Mars anytime soon. I'm kind of happy with the planet Earth. <laughs> but again, consider SpaceX hasn't gotten any of the funding that certain other suppliers, Blue Origin, and a couple others via NASA. It's even more impressive. Yeah, and, and they've they've got this this thing going on right now where. Um, between Tesla and SpaceX, it's like the, the top two places that all the new engineers and top engineers and stuff want to work these days because they're they're just doing such cool stuff. So they've, they've got the advantage now also of getting all the best candidates. So like that, that just continues to build on the edge they're already building. They got some money and paid it back. Did they get... So they actually... Um, they applied for... Uh, there was a design thing, I think, for what the moon lander or whatever, and they got some funding for that, I think. But they've built their whole, the whole rocket systems, I think, on a fraction of the cost of what the government paid through NASA. The takeaway restrictions allow people to do what they're good at. The possibilities are endless. Often, yes. As long as the uh, the ends that they're arriving at are the ones that are good. <laughs> Sometimes, when you take away the restrictions, people do what they're best at, and uh, it's a scary outcome. <laughs> but for the most part, yes. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that did line up. Thought I matched that up wrong there for a second. Nope, got no floor there.
Ah, I can't get it. There we go. Alright, that's a good start. More grass. Except middle schoolers. <laughs> yeah, definitely not middle schoolers. Something like six billions for NASA to, to build, one billion to SpaceX to build. Yeah, well, plus they're saving a ton of money each launch because they're not having to, they, you know, they've got the reusable, um, reusable boosters, right? I mean, say what you want to say about, about Elon Musk. He's a quirky guy. But he's certainly launched some pretty incredible initiatives. This grass is not growing back. <laughs> I've, I've, I've just ripped it bare. We're gonna be, we got a big bald spot on the lawn now. Any minute now, we're gonna see the guy from the house come out and start spreading seed everywhere. <laughs> Encounters the third type music. <laughs> Wait, we gotta start stacking up our mashed potatoes. This means something. See the power of the Raptor engine, three times stronger than the Falcon, or was it the other way around? Uh, is it the, is it, the, I the, I don't remember. I thought the Falcon 9 was the heavy rocket right now. The whole moral thing inside is really more of a movie theme than reality. Really? Tell that to the people who developed the atom bomb. Just saying. <laughs> This game's the best. It is pretty cool. I like it. I'm really, really looking forward to like the more stuff I can add into it. I'm having fun just with the building parts of it now, but it'll be neat as they added more content to play through. Falcon 9 uses the Merlin engine. Somehow that just seems really appropriate for Elon Musk to have one of his rocket engines named Merlin. <laughs> Great lawn mowing. Oh, yeah, we got this lawn bald. Listen, if you want a haircut, we got the skills for that, too. Just um, don't expect anything other than bald. By far the coolest name for a vehicle was the Saturn V. What makes it the coolest? I'm confused. Gotta eat some shrooms. I gotta get water, too. It's starting to take damage. It's powered by Wizard. There's an incredible level of morals and ethics that goes hand in hand with science and development. Yeah, the trouble is when um, when certain forces decide that those morals are not uh, not the direction they want things to go in. Like I don't know, like the development of, like I said, the development of the A bomb, or let's say pushing through rapid progress on untested vaccines or something of that nature, just to pick something random that's not in any way topical. <laughs> the launch board thrusters in the capsule are called Super Draco thrusters. Who knew Draco Malfoy would go into space? <laughs> he uh, he used the Wingardium Leviosa to get the rocket off the ground. Scientists are often very moral. The difficulty is that the development exists. It can be controlled by other... Yeah, so that's... Uh, I think that's a fair argument, is that sometimes things are developed with the best of intentions, but applied with uh, less uh, less stringent principles. Still, by and large, I mean, uh, as a society, we're definitely significantly better advanced and better off by virtue of the things that we've discovered in design. Not to get too deep on a video game. <laughs> but... Hey guys, I eat mud. <laughs> You're clear cutting the lawn. I am. I yeah. I gotta watch out for the Lorax. <laughs> I was expecting the grass to grow back a little faster than this. It's not. It's not really. It's not really holding up its end of the bargain. I'm having to run farther with the grass than I thought I would have to. I guess we. I mean, we could build. We could cut down grass that's behind the building, but I think it might actually take more time to get up around the rocks than the path we have right now. What if they put Hello oh my gosh, I really hope they do put Halloween decorations. That'd be amazing. Like a jack-o'-lantern that looks like a spider head or something. 
You like deep talk? Deep Thoughts by Jack Handy. Build stairs? Well, like we could, but I mean, we've got... Like I said, I think even with the stairs, I think it would take longer to run around behind the rocks than just going this way. <laughs> Mischief. And Mischief and Mystery are the names of the fairing capture... Yes! Well, yeah, the, for the fairing capture ones. And then they have the... Um, um, I, uh, what is it? I Still Love You or whatever? I can't... And that's not the whole name. Anyway, very funny. Uh, I kind of take the view that people decide to use the technology of science, not a concern of science itself. I don't like research being prevented for what it might do. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. I, I, I think it, I don't know. It's, I think there's probably a, a, an argument for both sides of the coin there. But I, I, I'm not, I'd be inclined to agree with you for the most part. Will Southern with a super chat. Go through a depressive episode and your streams keep me happy. Thanks for such amazing content. Don't want to leave this world. Uh, have to see the finished castle. Well, thanks, Will. I appreciate the super chat. I'm sorry to hear you're having, uh, having a tough time with things. But I'm glad we can provide some entertainment. Wow, this is so much clearer now that I, don't, I have the blur off. <laughs> the tree looks amazing for me. Um, yeah, man, if you like, if you need somebody to talk to, then obviously uh, go seek out that help or something. Because um, I think there's a lot of people right now that are not in the best, not in the best headspace. With, not only because of isolation and everything, but then you know all the job challenges and all that kind of stuff. But I appreciate the super chat. Thanks for the support. Cutting down a lot of grass. End a discussion on morals and ethics in regards to science progress. <laughs> yeah, what can I say? We get into the, yeah, more often than not these the random conversations on the stream are about food. <laughs> it doesn't, we don't normally get into deep topics. This is what happens when I'm, I'm doing something relatively mundane and I have a chance to see a lot of what's happening in the chat. <laughs> All that man creates can be used for good or evil. The invention itself is neutral. It depends on who or whom are wielding that power. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, well, again, because when you look at um, nuclear power, for example, it's uh, it can be an amazing energy source, but it can also be refined into weapon grade production, right? So, on one hand, it helps millions; on the other hand, it ends millions. Of course, I still love you, and just reading the instructions. <laughs> oh, of course, I still love you, but I hadn't. Uh, wait, is the other one called uh, just reading the instructions? <laughs> if so, that's great. <laughs> of course I still love you. I knew I, I had part of the name right. <laughs> you wield all power. You're building your house in grounded right now? Nice. Where are you building your house? We're over on the uh, on the stone walkway that's between the uh, the house and the shed right now. And then we have our main our main base is actually up in the top of the tree. This is a this is like a fun build. I'm just gonna I decided to do something else. <laughs> yeah, I love that SpaceX doesn't have accidents. They're rapid disassemblies. We'll just talk to Bob Ross. They're they're just happy little accidents. <laughs> you're talking about the atom bomb. You're thinking of the Manhattan Project, or, or uh, more about. Dr. Robin Ar Oppenheimer? Uh, I was thinking more, well, I mean, both of them, really. But I, I was thinking in terms of, um, in terms of the Manhattan Project, even. Anything, anything like that is a weapon of mass destruction. Well, you know, aside from gases, anyway. Repair my tool? Oh, yeah, it's almost broken. It's okay. We'll use it until it breaks. I'm, I'm trying to um, I gotta limit how much quartzite we're going through because it takes three every time I use one. So I'm confused. You're putting down floor without support correctly. If you accidentally hit a floor piece, doesn't the entire floor collapse? No, I have support actually. Um, so well, let me put these down. Just take our aid inside because my sh my smoothie's gonna wear off. So um, so it's on the walls here, and then I have the stairs up, the stairs up, and it's supported all the way around on the on the, the walls on the edge. Um, and so because the, because it's not, like, I could go and just, like, if I disassemble this one, for example, 
It just takes that one piece away. Because it's supported all around. I ran into that problem a whole bunch when we were building in the tree. Uh, and I had to finish the tower that I had going up. So I had, um... This, uh, the, the, the tower here that looks like a... Looks like a DNA helix or whatever. Um... I hadn't finished the scaffolding through the middle of it, so when I would cancel something on my house building at the top, it would um, cause a chain reaction and everything would drop on me. Um, but here, everything is supported, so we don't have that problem. Gatekeepers deny us free energy to keep control. If we had free electricity, we could run cars, heat homes with water. Um, yeah. But the thing is, nothing's ever really free. Somebody's got to do the, the time, time, effort, and cost in order to build things. And of course, they're, they're going to want to be remunerated for that effort. But I would say there's certainly definitely definitely certain industries that are uh, suppressing the development of other technology because it's in their best financial interest for it not to succeed. Is there a reason uh, to keep to keep the stocks of the grass um, well, over here? You mean like to, to like to pile them up? Not really. I could run them directly into the house, I guess. I just like to break it up into like two different activities for my own sanity. <laughs> There's not really a, a direct benefit to, to piling it out here. I did build the pallets though because they've, they've changed the game so that stuff despawns now. So I didn't want the grass I was piling up to despawn on me. Ryan Scott with a super chat. We're a little late to the stream, but excited to see the castle. Ava and Bella say hi, Fox. Well, hi, Ava and Bella. Thanks for the super chat, Scott. Appreciate that. We're uh, we're making slow but steady progress. It's um it's not the fastest build I've ever done, that's for sure. But it's starting to take shape. We're getting to that point now where it's starting to look a little bit more like an interesting building instead of just a square. Uh, I want to put the corner piece on there now. I think that's lined up. It's hard to tell sometimes with these phantom blue images when stuff's lined up right. <laughs> that one I can't reach. <laughs> I, gotta get, I gotta get more floor done. I always find it funny when the wind scale reactors were turned on in the UK, it was promised electricity too cheap to meter. Funny how that never happened, eh? Well, the thing with the, um, I think what they found with the wind turbines is the the degradation of the turbines, or the blades in the turbine in particular, happened a lot more fast than they anticipated. Gotta go. Friends and I are gonna kill the dragon under Minecraft Realm. All right, see you, Bob Ross. Thanks for dropping in. Slightly different topic. I work in. Uh, I work in government tech, and it amazes me how often I have to explain the value of collected data, no matter how esoteric it might be. Yeah. Well, so when you're explaining that, who are you explaining it to? People in the government or the general public? Because I'm sure the general public doesn't get it, but I also suspect much of the government doesn't get it. <laughs> oh, there we go. I broke my thing. <laughs> That was not clear. Wind scale was the first nuclear... Oh, okay. The first nuclear reactor was built in the 50s to supply plutonium for the bomb project. They made minimal power. Oh, I see. Well, that's sort of like the... I guess it's not that different from the, the people that are chasing after uh, fusion generation instead of fission. Do something funny with your voice or uh, in the game you're depressed? Uh... I don't know how to do that on demand. <laughs> Sometimes I just do stuff randomly, but on demand I don't know what to do. <laughs> You're the best. I love Grounded. Thanks, Maximus. Hey, uh, Brian, you, uh, you uh, got my money, man? Uh, what's my money, Brian? Ever see the fires and oil leaking from those wind turbines? It's funny when the so-called green options worse than the existing pipelines and such. Blah blah blah. No, I, I've never seen that, but I, I have seen the the blades wearing down dramatically, and then them having to replace them because they they didn't really anticipate the damage that just like small particle strikes on the edge of the blade would cause. Uh, 
But I mean, let's face it. The uh, the whole uh, the whole oil industry thing is uh, is really ultra toxic. <laughs> it's like like I, I I still suspect that the wind turbines are probably still less uh, environmentally impacting. <laughs> Stakeholder generally, uh, the mean age about fifty, being about fifty. Oh, ye yeah. So, isn't it funny though? So you, like, so David, you say you say that the situation where you're having trouble because you have to explain the the inherent value in data um, to people that are age fifty that aren't getting it, and consider that like in government, like what's the mean age in government? Like sixty, sixty five. <laughs> And those are the people that are making all the decisions for the rest of the country, but they, they largely can't grasp concepts like that. What concerns me most is a lot of these pipelines and major infrastructure we built in the 60s and 70s and never replaced, upgraded. Yeah, that's true. Well, plus all the, like, the coal burning and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. I, 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 think, I just think we're at a, we're finally at the point now where I think technology is caught up to a place where we we could conceivably move away from all those things we've been using for a hundred years but there's a general resistance to move away from them because there's an entire entrenched system around continuing to use them both in terms of you know um labor and employment um to, to companies that have a solid grip on a financial structure they want to maintain like uh, you know the oil companies are obviously heavily invested in all their infrastructure and the success of their businesses there's not really a lot of incentive for them to want things to change. Generally speaking, most of the most of the larger businesses benefit from the status quo, not from innovation. I've seen quite a few vids of the wind turbines blowing up like frag bombs and catching fire. There was one in Ontario, I think. I've never heard of that, and I'm in Ontario, but I, I'll look that up. That's interesting. <laughs> All fossil fuels need to be reserved for only motorcycle use. <laughs> they hit the cleanest, quietest engines around. Let's burn them in motorcycles. <laughs> Although, in fairness, with the motorcycle, you don't really want the engine to be quiet. Getting even the younger ones are so involved in politics, they're hard to teach about technology. Their children can adjust to it a lot faster. Yeah. Well, yeah. Good old politics. I, I love how the people that run the country are the ones who are probably least equipped to make those kinds of decisions. <laughs> and, and and that that whole system that we have in uh, in North America, where we say that because a whole bunch of people voted for this person in a popularity contest, that person is definitely the best equipped person to make critical life choices for the remaining population. Not because of any special knowledge or skill they have, but just because they were super popular. <laughs> it's basically like the government is is like the grown-up version of high school. <laughs> no offense to anyone working in government. <laughs> now that I opened my big mouth already. Collectively, I just find it frustrating. I also find it fascinating. So I watch a lot of news about like US politics because you're the politics in the US are just dramatically more interesting than they are in Canada. Our stuff's super boring. Everybody's always like apologizing and arguing over somebody being slighted. <laughs> in the US it's 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 much more dramatic. It's kind of like watching like a a reality uh, a reality show or something. <laughs> Problem is energy density. Batteries are still wildly inefficient in power per cubic space. Batteries also use toxic heavy metals. Yeah, but there's a lot of innovation that's going into those, and there are other ways to store energy beyond simple batteries. Even if they, for example, it's not it wouldn't be as efficient, but even if they used power in order to run plants that draw hydrogen out of seawater and then store the hydrogen for later use to produce power to offset. Like, I don't know. I think there's there's just like a combination of factors they could use. Instead of burning coal, for example. Oh gosh, it all goes on forever. Never any drama. It's much like General Hospital. It never ends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's really kind of... Like, as an outsider, because I'm in Canada, obviously I have no... I have no vested interest in what happens in the United States at all. Aside from the fact that the company that I work for is US-based. 
and all the clients I work with are in the U.S. But uh, as an outsider watching it, it's um, it's really something. <laughs> Small motor scooter is pretty quiet. Well, that's a yeah, I guess a scooter would be quiet. Not, maybe not so much a, a motorcycle though. I mean, depending on your motorcycle, it's like you want it to be loud, right? Like, you wouldn't want a silent Harley. That just wouldn't seem right. <laughs> All the other people you're riding around with on Harleys would just laugh at you. <laughs> you're not wrong. It's a bureaucratic system that keeps things going. Yeah, for sure. Hundred <laughs> percent. Good old bureaucracy. It's like it's like Futurama just knew what was gonna happen. <laughs> what was that? What was the uh, the bureaucrat's name in Futurama? I can't I can't remember his name now. Hermes, wasn't it? Is it Hermes? <laughs> so is there a reason to not cut down the grass uh, the grass all the way down and leave the stalks? Um, no, not really. Aside from the fact that it just takes it extra chops, and, and I don't need the I don't need the fiber. They'll regrow even even if you leave the stalks, except over here. Apparently, I've done something. I've poured salt in the ground or something, and the grass just does not want to regrow over here. <laughs> I think I need to go and spend a night away from this place so I can get that grass to regrow or something. Um, yeah, but I largely leave the stalks just because it's extra chops to break it down, and I really don't need the fiber. So I just leave it. It doesn't do anything for it, though. Like It doesn't cause it to regrow faster or anything. It just saves me time and effort. So many mixed messages in our government. <laughs> That's every government, though. Hermes Conrad. Yeah, that was his name. Thanks. Soon we're going to get the man in white. Wish salt stopped things growing. Salted your entire garden. Tons and tons of salt. Still full of grass and weeds. Pain in the bum. <laughs> Requisition me a beat. <laughs> oh, I used to love Futurama. <laughs> I mean, it was all about Bender for me, but... Although Fry was pretty funny also. Okay, maybe the wind turbine problem where California or somewhere was, but Ontario-based news, they were talking Ontario at the same time. I don't know. Can't find it. Oh, okay. I mean, let's face it. Anything can break down. I mean, your counter argument for that would be, look at these, you know, look at these couple wind turbines that have burst into flames, and then the counter argument is easily, hey, look at Three Mile Island. <laughs> like e everything has problems. <laughs> it's just a question of, uh, you know, the actual, the, the the actual relative frequency, and then how dramatic the problem really is. You never watched Futurama, well, Brittany, you're younger than I am, so I guess that kind of makes sense. I mean, when I was, I, I grew up with the. I grew up with uh, The Simpsons, so, you know, Futurama was right up my stupid alley. You know, along with Family Guy, because I like Family Guy, too. <laughs> freaking sweet. <laughs> I am Bender. Please insert girder. Uh, Bender. <laughs> oh, I'm such a gigantic kid sometimes, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm like... 43 years old and I like cartoons. So I think my wife is ashamed of me sometimes. <laughs> you never watched Futurama, Family Guy, or South Park? Oh my god. Oh my god, she killed Kenny. <laughs> Good news, everyone. I've taught Burgle to feel love. Oh god. You're 42 and watch cartoons? Okay, good. So I'm, I'm a good company then, Sean. <laughs> like it's, I, I'm a, I'm a firm believer that guys don't really grow up anyway. We just get more expensive toys. Uh, I just happen to embody that better than some other 40, 40 some odd people I know. You're 44 years old. Remember, you just had a birthday. You're a month younger than me. Oh my God, I'm 44. Ah, crap. <laughs> Son of a! <laughs> I, uh, I'm ashamed to say I 100% forgot. <laughs> I've been still been calling myself 43. Oh my god, I just got corrected from my own age by someone on my own stream. Ah, oh, what has become of my life? 
Uh, I'm totally not telling my wife about that. She'll really think I'm dumb. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, I'm 44. <laughs> well, a new member, Sean Kremen. Welcome to Duplicate. Thanks for clicking the join button. Appreciate the support. Jesus, I, my life could be a cartoon at this point. <laughs> Why didn't you just let me stay in my illusion? <laughs> Ted totally stole Peter's voice. <laughs> Been 27 for eight years, nice. Just turned 42, hey old buddy. It's funny, uh, you know what? I, I think, um, I don't know. I, I think when you talk to people who don't like video games, they all assume that they're all kids, but I think the average like the average age for gamers these days is like 35. <laughs> Granted, there's there's younger people also, but you're, Brittany's crying. Don't cry, Brittany. It's okay. It's just old timer setting in. Sean with a super chat. Too funny, Fox. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> All right, I got a super chat for being stupid. Hooray! <laughs> I am so smart. I am so smart. Everybody loves me. I am so smart. SMRT. I mean SMART. I <laughs> still love you. Oh my god. <laughs> I swear to god. I think I've been calling myself 43 for like months. My birthday was in June. It's not even like it was like last week. <laughs> oh. Yep. So, um, does anybody have any, like, uh, pamphlets on old folks' homes that I could look into in the southern Ontario area? <laughs> I think I might need one of those soon. Mike Shepard waves from BC, Canada. Enjoy your vid. Thank you very much. Hey, Mike. Welcome. Fellow Canadian. I, my sister lives up in BC, although I haven't been out there myself before. Chocolate 50% off. Where? Oh, wait a minute. Is that because I'm old? I get chocolate on sale? Is that what that is? Let's see your other things you forget about. Tell us about all the things you can't remember. Um, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> you know a few homes in Florida? All right, sweet. Actually, I don't know. The uh, recent events, recent geopolitical and health events have made me consider whether Florida is the place I really want to be. <laughs> Even though it is nice and warm there. Oh my god, he's forgotten how to forget! <laughs> Speaking of Canada, is there any news on when Canada will be opening its borders, mainly to people from the UK? Uh, I actually don't know. That's a good question. I mean, I, they're still pretty pretty high strung about everything related to COVID. Um, and it doesn't help that our, our neighbor immediately to the south causes us much of that concern. Yeah, I don't want to become Florida man, you're right. Um, so I actually haven't heard anything about when, when they might be letting international travel in. Oh, apparently I need food again, and I don't have any. Better make a smoothie. That'll give me a little bit of grub. Oh, what's this? Is this sap or is this honeydew? Consume. Got a little food, that'll keep me from getting hurt while I go make some smoothies. Your government's the blind leading the blind. Well, again, it's that it's the same thing I said before, where it's like, the people who are in charge of making all the decisions are the people who, in the course of normal events, you would never look to to make a decision. It's like, hey, we want to know about this uh, this medical condition. Who should we talk to? You know what? I'm going to call the mechanic, because he knows about medicine. <laughs> That's what government is. We 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 run a popularity contest to put someone in charge who should not be making choices about things. And yet, that's how our whole system is defined. That person is the person we elected, so therefore they should make the choice. But they're no law. They're most of the time they're no better equipped to make the choice than anybody else is. <laughs> I gotta go find food. I, the smoothie didn't give me any food. They're the class clown and still are for the most part. Yeah, I mean, so let's look at you know what's your what's your most common uh, your common most common experience for politicians in in at least in Canada and the U S. is is law. Most of them studied law, and yet 
and that's great when you're passing laws and and drafting laws but when you're making decisions about a lot of stuff i mean so much of what they decide in government is not really founded in the basis of law except that they're crafting a law in order to address it it's uh it's kind of a funny system all around Buck Rogers on the Coleco. I must have missed something. Unfortunately, Trump is just a pawn. Well, yeah. Average gamer, 38. 60% of buyers are men. 40% women. Uh, that's from 2016. It's probably still relatively close to that, I would think. Although, I think um, some of the statistics for, for women buying games, and not I don't want to sound like I'm being like sexist or biased, um, but I think the, the data on that had shown that the, it, um, women were a larger proportion of mobile purchases for like mobile games. Not to say that people can't play whatever they want to, but I just think um, I think that's what it played out to statistically. Comedy Force, Com Commodore 64 games you played. Uh, Dig Dug, Congo Bongo, Zaxxon, Ghostbusters. Oh my god, the Ghostbusters game on Commodore was awesome. I used to play it on, on Commodore. I used to also play a ton of Defender of the Crown. Uh, Maniac Mansion I played on... Uh, on Commodore 64, Zach McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders. <laughs> so many good games. Except in couples, guess who gets to the best computer first? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna guess the white. Jet Set Willy on Commodore 64, the Dizzy Egg games. Oh, what was it? Um, there was another one, uh, Joust I used to play on Commodore 64. Classics. God. Old time gaming games. Defender of the Crown. You had the PS2. Oh, there was a PS2 version? That's awesome. That was a fun game. I used to play uh, a flight sim game, too, that was like uh, mail delivery or something. I don't remember exactly what it was called, but I remember it having to do with delivering mail. <laughs> uh, Alright, I think I got enough mushrooms for now. I've got 20. That'll do. Back to the construction work. Yeah, I write mobile software for a living, so I need the newer tech first, and that's the story I'm sticking to. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, there's a, something big over there. Spider. I'm stuck. What kind of software do you write? Is it like uh, applications or games or what? Microsoft Flight Sim 2. Oh, yeah. Everyone interested in the way government should work should watch the West Wing on Netflix. Absolutely amazing show that makes me nostalgic for the 90s. You know what? I don't, I don't think I've ever actually watched the West Wing. Not that I wasn't familiar with the show. I just never watched it. Ground was green, sky was blue, and landing was impossible. <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah, oh, mail delivery. Yeah, yeah, you played it. <laughs> and it had it had the runways would be like these just... Like these colored lines on the ground. <laughs> you know, yeah, that was a fun game. I mean, way back when. It would be just trash now, obviously, but... <laughs> landing was a challenge in that game, yeah. Was, they, the games back then had a little trouble displaying perspective when you were playing. Oh, <laughs> I could hear this thing underneath me, and I was like, what the heck is that noise? Kung Fu moves! Oh, wait, uh, I was going to take the weevil meat, and then I just remembered that my inventory is full. Um, I'm going to get rid of Let's drop these. Give me another weevil meat. I'm going to make a little uh, spit over here to cook some meat up. Although, I think if I cook it, by the time morning rolls around... It might be bad already. Let's see. Meal prep. Uh, roasting spit. I don't have the stuff for the jerky rack, but I can make a roasting spit. To put this. Okay, I apparently can't put this near anything that I've already built. <laughs> like, forget it. You can't have this here. There.
Okay, let's see if that thing lasts through the night while I sleep. Survey says... We will roast. Yeah. Bam. Now we got the food. We got all the food. Oh, I gotta make this thing, too. Uh, I'm gonna keep that on me, because I need it. Put some of our shrooms away. I think we're getting close to having enough grass to finishing that second floor up there. Still play the classic of the emulator sometimes. NES, GB. Oh, yeah. I used to do the emulator games a while ago, but uh, I kind of gave it up. Too many cool other games were coming out. Everything got so far advanced relative to what those games were like. Annals of Internal Medicine stated the case for mass enclosures has collapsed. The virus is best fought by dealing with it naturally. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I keep seeing conflicting information about that. The trouble is they don't know whether herd immunity is going to take effect. See, there seem to be instances of re reinfection. In which case, just letting people get sick isn't necessarily going to accomplish it. And, they, and the, uh, the illness does seem to leave lasting effects afterwards, which is sort of concerning. They need a passive daddy long legs like the ladybug. Daddy long legs are actually super poisonous. It's just that they can't like they can't really bite people because they don't have the mandibles that are strong enough. Who are you watching from nine and up? That's the question. Well, uh, Voltron, GI Joe, Thundercats, Scooby Doo. <laughs> if I remember rightly, that uh, thing about Daddy Long Legs is a myth. Is it? It could be. What do I know? He Man? Yep. He Man. That was a wild stable about Daddy Long It might be. I don't know. I've been wrong before. Stay passive to attack it, yeah. Daddy Long Legs Venom thing is a myth. Well, I specialize in myth. <laughs> in my head, it was right. Just in reality, it's wrong. You love Thundercats? I haven't seen Thundercats in so long. Lie, no, snarf, snarf. <laughs> he meant yeah, Skeletor. 1,800 people watching and not even 200 likes. What? What are people doing? <laughs> it's funny how everybody calls that out except for me. I don't even notice it. But yeah, if you guys are watching the stream and, you, uh, and you're and you enjoying it, certainly feel free to click on that like button. Or if you hate all the discussion, you can also just click on the dislike button because that's, uh, that's an option too, I guess. <laughs> Docs are just throw drugs at everything. Corruption is it. Well, um, yeah, I mean, yes and no. I, I, I agree, they do tend to prescribe. Oh, they overprescribe too quickly. Sometimes I wonder, I don't know what it's like in the US exactly, but sometimes I wonder if the degree of prescriptions that doctors write are in any way related to um, patient overload, but they don't have the time to dedicate sufficient amount of time to an individual patient to spend time doing things other than just prescribing. Or if it's just quicker and easier because then they can bill for another patient. Look at the likes now. I can't even see the likes. My, uh, hold on a second here. <laughs> I, I really need to get a third monitor set up because everything's so crowded on my computer. It's hard to see everything. Too many windows. There we go. 247. Let's get jump up. I don't, I, I actually don't know what the net benefit is of uh, likes and stuff on content. But I know that YouTube measures uh, interactions and stuff that people have, engagement that they have with the content. And so likes do seem to be a component of that. I think they, they tend to take cues more like, how long do people watch something as a better indicator than whether somebody clicked the like button or not, but it does help. Miss your two monitor setup. Yeah, I have I have two monitors now. I couldn't I couldn't do the streaming. I don't think with just a single monitor. Um, but I've been thinking I'd like to get a maybe a third monitor set up. I have a I have a monitor here that I'm not using because I replaced my monitor recently. 
It's just that I have a I have a sit stand desk and I have a limited amount of space on the surface of it. So I can't like mount it on the wall because if my desk is gonna go up or down, I, it wouldn't hit the screen. I have to get like some sort of like a mounting bracket for it, I think. Okay. Oh my god, we're almost on the floor up here. This is taking a really long time to build. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be a while, but this is like this is taking longer than I anticipated, to be honest. I thought with the grass being this close by, it would be uh, it'd be really easy to grab it, but we, we clear cut an area and it's not regrowing on me. Likes and dislikes are treated the same, from what I hear. That's right. Got something to do with suggestion and such. The more inter interactions, the better. Yeah. So they look at um, it, there's a lot of factors that go into suggestibility for video content on YouTube. But yeah, likes are a piece of that. But they treat likes and dislikes the same because they see both of them as you engaging with the content. Whether you engaged in a way that said that you liked it or not, you were still, it still caused enough of a reaction in you to generate a reaction to the video itself. As I understand it anyway. I don't know. I don't really harp on it too much. I hate that whole thing where like people start up a video and the first thing they say is like, smash that like button, make it turn blue, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Will I play Windbound tomorrow? Uh, nope. Tomorrow I have scheduled um, Subnautica Below Zero, I believe. Um, Friday I was planning to play Wasteland 3, but I, I think I'm actually going to be having date night with my wife. My mom's going to be taking the kids for the night. Um, so I, I, I don't think I'll be streaming on uh, on Friday night, as it turns out. I'll probably move Wasteland 3 to um, to the Saturday night stream. And then I'll whatever I had planned for Saturday... Um, I'll wind up moving that probably to Sunday. I actually don't even remember what I scheduled. <laughs> it might have been grounded again. I don't know. Okay. Boom. Okay, now we need stems. This is, uh, stems and clovers. I think I put all my clovers away, yeah. This is going to be the pain, because... The stems are something we have to go a little bit farther for. Now, fortunately, each of those roof pieces only takes a single stem, but... Um, this is going to be a nuisance. <laughs> I need to find weeds that are closer by. And we're going to need a whole lot more clover, too. The creator would like to see uh, everyone liking the video and taking the time to make it a good show. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, you want people to like the stuff you put out there. But it is a reality, though, that if you get enough people watching something, there are going to be people that don't. I think every time I stream, oftentimes before I even go live, somebody's already clicked the dislike button. It's almost become, like, a ritual habit now. <laughs> and I think more often than not, it's usually people voting on the game that I'm playing more so than anything. But basically saying, I didn't want you to play this, I wanted you to play something else, so I'm going to click dislike. Okay, we need more clover and a lot more stems. How's this looking from the front now, I wonder? You need a lot more weed. <laughs> Boom. Okay, getting that second tier going. It's getting there. I mean, this is not really going to look exact, but as long as it looks neat, that's all I'm looking for. Okay, uh, oh, there's a weed over there we can get. They introduce a sled or a cart in this game, or something. yeah, something that could let you carry more supplies would be nice. <laughs> Almost made the jump. Good thing the spider wasn't there. <laughs> Brian Scott with a super chat. Ava and Bella have to go to bed at the end of the stream, so they have donated two dollars and fifty cents each to ask you to stream for an extra half an hour. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks for the super chat, Ava and Bella. <laughs> All right, I think we can arrange that. We'll stream till like 12.30. Ow. Well, 12.30 my time, anyway. Bribed by the youngins. <laughs> and down she goes. What's funny is they're, they're not like, oh my god, would he please stop talking about like politics and other mundane things and just shut up and build? <laughs> Looks amazing, Fox. Great build. It's getting there. It's getting there. I mean... 
It's uh, it's not gonna look quite right. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, I kind of wish I had done only a single layer floor for the bottom. The next one up, um, so on top of this angled roof, I'm gonna try and do one on the front that angles up on a triangle this way. I'm just not sure if I'm gonna be able to get it to blend very well, but we'll see. As long as it looks kind of, kind of ish, I guess. If you thought about making bombs and just messing around, I have, but frankly, I have such a problem in this game getting my hands on uh, um, on ant eggs that I really just, <laughs> I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time trying to do it again tonight. We've had a couple streams where I spent an inordinate amount of time trying to get my hands on ant eggs so we can make the bombs. Oh my gosh, this weed was a gold mine. Look at this thing. That was a good one to chop down right there. Holy. Forget the dandelions. Gotta get more of those. How about a smoothie of weed? <laughs> it's legal in Canada, but I don't partake. <laughs> it's not my thing. Music goes well with the building. Yeah, this is all just in-game music. I don't have anything special on. I think, uh, I mean, everything I've seen in this game so far, I think they've done really well. I like the art style. The uh, audio quality is good. I mean, except for the grubs. I don't like the grubs. They scare me for, for like, zero reason. <laughs> There's no reason the grubs should scare me. Needs more bridges. Yeah, maybe. Oops. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> But yeah, the art sounds good. The gameplay is fun. I like all the uh, all the building and stuff that's in it. I'm looking forward to them adding some more. Okay, I gotta get uh, gotta chop down a bunch of clover over here now. You're a stoner. I'm sure probably plenty of people are. It's just not my bag. Bridge to pee. Wow. <laughs> I've had some weed. I'd rather be alert and get some work done. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've never tried it myself. I, I think uh, I tried uh, when I when I messed my back up really bad. I tried uh, one that was just like a capsule that had the oil in it or something. And it, it did not react well with me. I didn't like it. <laughs> so it's one of those things where I was like, okay, that's that's enough of that. It's all like weirdly paranoid and stuff. It was so weird. That and I, I can't I, I can't abide by the whole concept of smoking in general. It doesn't matter whether it's tobacco or. Uh, Tobacco or wacky tobacco. Wacky tobacco, what do you want to call it? Weed. I, uh, yeah, it's not my thing. I just won't do it. That's not CBD oil. <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't CBD oil. It was, uh, it definitely had some THC in it. <laughs> but at the time, I was, uh, I was just in excruciating agony and I couldn't even, I couldn't even lay down properly to sleep. So my wife was like, okay, I'm, I ordered this thing, just try it, see if it helps. I forgot to bring those stems up with me. I was like, oh, okay, I'll try it. I'll try anything at this point. I'm like, I'm, I'm in so much pain, I just, I need something. <laughs> I didn't like it. <laughs> and I didn't sleep either, so it, it didn't even accomplish what it was attempting to. Look at Cody, and while trying not to get jacked up for marching in zigzag was rather interesting. Yeah, I mean, I had, uh... I just had like Tylenol 3s with codeine, so it's not as potent, but. <laughs> I'm really super, I'm really kind of super straight laced, so I'm, I don't really get behind recreational drug use in general. I mean, other people can make whatever choice they want for themselves, but for me and for my kids, uh, yeah, definitely 100% not. No judgment, but just, uh, just not where we're going is all, I guess. I don't think that's the way you're supposed to take it, Battle Angel fan. 
Pretty sure that's the wrong end. <laughs> Ants can lift several times their body weight, then how much would a tiny human be able to? I don't know. Probably not several times their body weight. <laughs> Man, I'm glad we found that weed. It's gotten like almost enough uh, almost enough stems here to finish this whole top level. Fair enough, Scott. <laughs> you are correct. So what I so basically uh, I'm a hypocrite, and that's fine. <laughs> I can enjoy a bit of booze or whatever, but being broke all the time, I haven't smoked or drank anything harder than coffee in months or years. Oh yeah, I don't drink a lot either. I mean, I'm, I'm a total recreational drinker, but. Now, my first year university, that was a different story, but I would still call that recreational. It was just, there was a lot more recreation going around. <laughs> okay, we used up all the stems I had. I need another weed. Um, actually, I wonder if there's any in the area behind our fancy new base. Just joined, what'd you miss? Uh, we've finished off this floor. For the most part, I have to do the inside wall sections here still to block off the space so you don't see out. Because I built the floor weird down that level. Uh, we did this section up here. I've got like three stems left to finish this off and then we're moving up to the next level. Uh, I do not see any weeds or dandelions in the back area here. Oops, uh, there's not, it's not done yet there. Uh, so we're going to have to go out here I guess and find find a dandelion or something. Scientifically, anything smaller than a mouse doesn't get hurt from any fall, even at critical velocity. You mean like terminal velocity? Hmm, I guess. The game thinks otherwise. Cyanide <laughs> alcohol isn't for me. Never smoked anything. Yep, I've never smoked anything either. I see, I grew up and my mother smoked cigarettes when I was a kid. I bugged her for like, I don't know, 35 years to quit smoking. And she finally did. <laughs> the irony is that, so me and my brother used to both bug her about smoking. Trying to get her to stop. And then, uh... She didn't, obviously, because, you know, it's a hard thing to do. And your kids telling you to stop smoking isn't really going to get you to stop. It's got to be something you want to do. And, uh... She finally quit, like... I don't know, five or six years ago, something like that. But so my brother and I um, would bug her endlessly about it. I like would throw her cigarettes in the sink when there was water in it, which she got really upset about. Um, but then my brother joined the military, and within a year of being in the military, he was smoking. I was like, "What is wrong with you?" <laughs> but I guess in, the, the thing in the military was that uh, the only people who got to take breaks were the people that smoked. Everyone else was just expected to keep working. So he started hanging out with them just to. Just to take a break, and then started smoking himself. This is a decent sized building already, and we're not even like... <laughs> not even close to being done. It's terminal velocity. Uh, Mouse could fall off the Empire State Building and walk away without so much as a broken bone. <clears throat> well, uh, shoot, what's the... Uh, what's the... What's the formula for, uh... Shoot, uh, mass times the... Uh, mass times the speed of... Or the... Ah, credit, I can't remember. <clears throat> it's like mass times gravity squared or something? No, that's not it. No, it's not e equals mc squared. It's, um... Mass times acceleration... Times the gravity squared or something? I don't remember. One half mass times this uh, square. Uh, yeah. One half mass velocity. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even. Uh, you know what? My brain won't work. Forget it. <laughs> I used to do physics. <laughs> that was a really long time ago. And then I switched out of science and went to business. And I haven't looked at physics again. <laughs> 
Forgetting one thing on your pagoda, the earthquake pool in the center. Well, this, uh, it's not really a pagoda. It's, it's a feudal castle, which is slightly different. So that's going to be my argument. My staircase up the middle is going to be my earthquake pool. <laughs> okay, the, the hard part now is on this section here. How can I do this? I, I, I want to try and build sort of almost like a decorative feature on the front of this. Whoops. Uh, that goes like this. But, oh, that was entirely wrong. <laughs> I don't think I can get this to snap to it until I got the building in place. Yeah, it's not gonna let me. Uh, okay, so hold on. We gotta do. I need uh, wall pieces here. I think that this might be a hard thing to match up, just because you can't get different angles on the the sloped pieces. You can only do the, the one slope that they give you. I need that to go back a little bit farther anyway. Uh, one, two, one, two, yeah, okay. So if we cancel this one, and go here. Oh, this might work, roof interior corner might, I might be able to use that to join up to it. So like that, and then I need wall pieces above here. Something's not right. Ah! Ah, shoot. <laughs> can I get through the window? Oh, I can. Ah. Perfect door. Grandmother used to smoke three packs a day and they were 10 cents a pack, so she has a lot of health problems from now on. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I, used to, I used to bug my mom about the smoking constantly, and uh, at one point we had this phone in the living room that was like white. And there was one point where she picked it up and, and could see how discolored the whole outside of the phone was from smoking in the house. And she was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, yeah. You think? Okay, so that... Now, how am I going to make this join is the true... Oh, I fell again. I'm thirsty. Okay. So, how can I do this? I want to get like an angled piece here. If I take this one out, what kind of roof, roof slope pieces have I got? Roof corner. That's not going to do it. Roof corner interior. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it join. It's going to look a little weird. And, and if I could get it to glitch through, that would be amazing. But I don't think I don't think I can get these piece, these pieces to, to glitch and blend together. I, I haven't been able to get this thing to glitch at all anymore lately. It's kind of frustrating. I, it's almost like they fixed it. <laughs> so I wanted it to blend in like that, but I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to get to be able to get the pieces to merge. So it's never going to look quite right. Drat. Darn you, game. Just let me put the piece where I want to put it. It's not working. Uh, they were supposed to fix the glitching, sad face. Oh, that's such a shame. That's such a shame. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that to work. Um... I mean, they have, uh, whoops, oh, I hit the wrong button. Ugh. If you hit N, it makes your character walk forward. Second hand smoke's the worst. Yeah, well, I mean, first hand smokers are getting it from both ends. <laughs> they're getting they're getting both the, the cigarette smoke the first time, and they're getting the second hand smoke from themselves. Um, ooh, wait a minute, what about, um, will this piece work?
No. That would almost like that would almost fit on here, except it dips down to the middle too much. I need like a corner piece. I could maybe just put in like a grass thing, maybe? Oops. I should probably go get some water before I take more damage. Like a triangle grass wall like this, maybe? It really doesn't look right, but it kind of works, I guess. Let's get a drink. <laughs> I gotta back up so I can see it. Oh, <laughs> Alright. <laughs> if you're too far away, it doesn't draw it. Uh, there it is. So, it kind of makes the pattern on there. It just doesn't blend in quite the way that I wanted it to, but it's, it's better than nothing. I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of okay, I guess. Whatever. It's never gonna work exactly the way I want it. If if I could get it to glitch the pieces together, then that then that would look pretty much how I wanted it to look. But um, it's not gonna cooperate. So, what can I put on here that might? It's this piece here that would almost do the trick. What about this one? Yeah, see this one, it specifically rotates to a different angle. Can I hit control and have it rotate differently? Nope, it always does 90 degree rotation. Ah! <laughs> I can't even see, this thing's in the way. No, that would leave a big opening. All right, I got, this will have to do. I can't. Um, I don't think I can do anything different here, unless I try and put another slope piece on here just for kicks. Like that. So it would look. It would look weird from the inside, but from the outside, it would kind of almost work. And then I can't cover that piece there, unfortunately, but. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I wish I could see this better. <laughs> it's, uh, until I build it, I'm, it's not gonna... I can't get it quite right, but that actually kind of works. From down below, it'll look okay. It would look really weird up... Like, if you were actually able to get up topside there and see it, but I think it'll look okay from there. Let's, uh, let's get some grass up there. We'll build it and see what it's like. After I sleep. On another build, maybe try walkways on each level. Uh, some castles have that. Yep. Yeah, they do. Um, this one, because it's uh, because I'm trying to go for like a, a feudal style thing. I'm, this is more like the central building of a feudal castle. It's maybe a little different, I guess. You want to try telling your body to stop? <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> Looks like a strange mix up of Japanese and Nordic carpentry. <laughs> Yeah, it's obviously not going to be quite right. Hence the reason I said Japanese style. Not really, uh... You know. It's not really going to be exact. If all else fails, use bombs. Oh, if only we had some. If only. Also, overhangs and such are cool. Yeah, it looks good. I like it so far. It's not like proportion. Proportion is not going to be quite right because um, the angle, the angle of the slope on the roof pieces is a little bit steep, so it's going up pretty high. But I think so far it looks pretty good. It could be worse, considering what we have to work with. You know, it's not that bad. What if you move the wall outward so that it's flush with the angled roof? Outward or inward? 
I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Bonsai! They should do a Viking style host for the next one with the really long, really steep, long roofs. Maybe. Do you plan on playing Oni anytime soon? Um. Uh, I don't exactly know when I'm going to play it again. I I'm definitely going back to it because I love Oxygen Unincluded. I w I've just been kind of enjoying playing other things lately, so I haven't really been in a rush to play it, to be honest. It was nice to take a break, because I played so much Oxygen Unincluded for so long. Um, I was actually kind of enjoying just doing a variety of other things. But yeah, 100% I will be playing it again. Uh, I've, I was kind of waiting for the new DLC stuff, when they start having the Beta Branch available for the new DLC content. I don't know when that's supposed to be, though. Wait a minute, that's, that's backwards. Have I played Raft? I have, yeah. It's been a while. Um, I played it for a little bit. I know they added a whole lot of extra content that I haven't tried just yet. I have a really bad habit of starting games and then not finishing them. <laughs> it's like... It's like my curse. Yeah, I need... Whoops! Wrong button. <laughs> I gotta get more clover. I mean, it looks a little funky because I haven't finished those upper levels yet, but the next overhang is gonna be like here. So that'll almost, that'll kind of be interesting in and of itself because it's gonna kind of have to blend into what's already there. Hopefully, we can get that to work. It's like you're trying to bargain in a semi-fun chore like mowing the lawn <laughs> no it's not that it's just so I know that a lot of people followed the channel originally because I was playing so much oxygen not included and I recognize that I haven't been playing it lately um, but I, I played it solidly for years uh, I've been kind of enjoying just one of the things I often struggled with oxygen not included is the expectation that I should always be playing it so as new stuff came out that I wanted to try um, you know, I missed some opportunities because I was like, okay, you know, I gotta, I gotta get an auction unincluded stream in when I could have been playing, you know, a new game or whatever to capture more audience sort of thing. Shoot, <laughs> I broke my tool. Wait, Foxy played oxygen unincluded. That, that's right, rabid dog. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Try karma getting soon. Rabid dog, stop it. <laughs> of course I haven't. That I would never play a game like that. What are you talking about? Guys yeah, are evil. The struggle of being a YouTuber. It's not really a struggle. It's just... I don't know. It's one of those things. I find that, I, I find it really challenging to have enough time to do everything I want to do. Just because there's so many games that come out. And there's a bunch of them lately that I've been seeing that just look interesting. And I'm like, oh, that looks really cool. I'd like to try that. I don't know where I'm going to find the time to do it, but I want to try it. Okay. Um, I want to do something similar on the side here, but not as dramatic as up front. So if I... Oh, jeez, don't fall. I can't tell where I am in the middle of this thing. <laughs> so if I do, if I did one there, and one there. Does that fit? No, I need like, Close. Okay, hold on. I'll, I'll do uh, out here. I want to make them... Oops. Ah, don't do that. 
Bye bye, Clover. I'll go like that. I don't have any windows on this level. Um, that might present a problem. <laughs> I can't. I can't break it that way. <laughs> Come on, game. There we go. No! All right. <laughs> Oops. Ah. Stupid. I forgot it wasn't, uh, I hadn't connected the side pieces yet. Ah. Why do something once when you can do it twice? That's, that's my motto. Good grief. Just had it all worked out, too. Slow clap. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, try third person? Uh, yeah, third person might have worked there. Come on, it's not like you guys didn't, mis didn't expect mistakes to happen. Mistakes were made. That's our motto. What's the motto for you? Okay, I need this piece again. There we go. Hey look, stems down here. Imagine that. Wonder where that came from. Is he better in third person view? Uh I guess. <laughs> I feel weird running around in third person view. It's like it's like Scooby Doo running. More grass. Go explore. Oh, we've already explored this whole place so thoroughly. <laughs> We're working on building stuff right now. Exploring we've tackled. Okay, I need, uh, I'm gonna have to get more stems though. So we're gonna have to find another weed. We're almost up to the, uh, the bench height on the picnic table. So it's getting up there. How big is the map of this game? Uh, what's about yay big? It's just this one backyard so far. So, like that fence you see over there in the distance is the far end of the yard. Um, the house is the and the fence is the close end over here. And then um, behind the shed, there's a fence that goes along there over to the corner by the tree. It's fairly big when you have to run it as a tiny little person, but it is only just one yard size right now. I, I think they're supposed to be adding some some more. Some more uh, territory to it, but I, I don't know whether it's gonna like expand in other yards or. Did you see that bird just like fly straight vertically? <laughs> that was weird. All right, somewhere here are the stink bugs. I want the weeds that are here, but I think I think the stink bugs might disagree. Give me these. I'm all turned around. I can't see anything. There we go. <laughs> that looks kind of cool from this distance. Like I said, that, that, that arch there is too steep relative to the size of the building or whatever, but still, I think it looks cool. Uh, Fox. An overhang is easily used to drop things on attackers. Just cut holes in the floor. Basically, don't put permanent floorboards. Magical location is the next level of that idea. Well, they had, um... So they had, like, these big shutters that would hang across the, the front of the windows, right? And they could push the shutter out so they'd be protected from arrows. But still, like, shoot downwards or throw things down. Uh -huh. 
Nice, your basic was really awesome. Thanks. It's getting there. I think it looks pretty cool. It's a lot bigger than the one in the top of the tree, but um, most of our effort on that particular base went into uh, getting up there. <laughs> You've done a nice job. It's the Home Alone house, right? <laughs> That's right. Kevin! Where's Kevin? Oh, come on. Get up there. All right, those are done. Uh, I'm going to need these fancy grass things. Nope, not that. Uh, yeah, that size. I said I really needed there. I sort of got it figured out there. Okay, let's do that. And then... Switch this up to that one. So we'll do it kind of the same as we did on the front, but this, but on the sides it'll have like the double, a double pattern. Neat. It's gonna look cool. One of these days you should build a ladder over the fence. <laughs> I've uh, I've seen people go over the fence. I mean, the buildings over there are just, like, free-floating in space, basically. There's no ground out there. <laughs> That's something I would do in creative mode. I would not want to have to gather the supplies to climb over the fence. Yeah, you're in a building's eaves, not overhangs. The walls and f floor overhang over the one below, and a lot of old grouping instructions, including some castles. Yeah, so like a lot of times in like the, the the pagodas, they would just be vertical, and but on the feudal castles, they had like, oops, what happened there? Um, they as you go up the building, they actually they step back a bit, so it almost tears back. Ouch. More grass. <laughs> I still can't believe this grass over here hasn't regrown yet. I think, um, let's go to our other house there. We'll, we'll check in and see how that's going. I want to try to get the grass here to respawn. I, I'm not really liking this whole not having materials over here thing. That's looking pretty huge, though. Kind of closes the front door. I, I like the look of that. That looks really cool. <laughs> Why use a bow with an AR-556 with two? <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that neat? Cool. I like it anyway. You sound kind of like Seth Rogen when you laugh. I, I get that a lot, actually. I don't hear it myself. I, I guess I can't I can't visualize what, what Seth Rogen's laugh is like, but I, I do actually hear that a lot. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the treehouse. I'm going to try and... Uh, we'll check out with... Burgle over there. Maybe we'll kill some beetles. Maybe we'll splat some aphids. We got like 20 minutes left to stream. Let's see what we can kill. Um, so we can turn on those quests for Burgle. I'm going to spend the night at the at the treehouse. And hopefully the grass over here will respawn if I'm not like right there. Because if we can get the stuff that spawns closer to the building, it will make harvesting the grass a lot quicker than what it has been tonight. This is a deep throaty laugh. Oh, is it? All right. <laughs> He said, I, I actually, I can't even think of what his laugh sounds like exactly, but I, I get that comment fairly frequently. Hi, my name's Burgle. B -b -b Burgle. Oh, you know what I should have done? Oh, hold on. I gotta get the spider armor. I left it back at this base. Oh, jeez. Ah. <laughs> Gotta hate those things. Where'd it go? I swear I swear to God, I there's something that jump scares me every time I play this game. Every time. It's those stupid grubs. It's not even dangerous. <laughs> they changed the sound of them. And so I heard the noise and then saw the motion out of the corner of my eye on the screen. 
At first I was thought I, I thought I was getting attacked by something. Stupid game. So darn grubs. <laughs> grubs aren't supposed to sound like that. You're so bored. Go find something to do. Or sleep. People have trouble being bored when they're asleep usually. It's mostly spiders that scare me. But usually it's the spiders that get the jump scares in, yeah, but not this time. Stupid grubs. Okay, uh, let's get this out of here. Here we go. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna bring this. Uh, I'm gonna bring this archer's hat and try this thing out. I don't have the uh, the feathered arrows or anything. Actually, what's it take to make the feathered arrows? Uh, oh, spiky sprig. A weaponized sprig with thorns at the end. That's new. I haven't seen that one before. I don't think. That's cool. Huh. All right. Uh, I guess the feathered arrow must be under workbench gear, maybe? Workbench tools? Oh, there it is. The feather arrow's there. Maybe I'll try those out. We got a few feathers here, and I think I've already crafted the stuff that's uh, good to use with the feathers. Let's go back to the treehouse. We'll make up some of those, and we'll go test it out. Spiky sprig is old. I guess I just never made it. I, I made the spear, and then I skipped right over the spiky sprig, I guess. Grubs or spiders, which jump scare is worse? Definitely the spiders. <laughs> the wolf spiders in particular. I don't I don't mind the uh, the orb weavers as much now. But the wolf spiders still scare the heck out of me because they still kill me really easy. Can I do this a little longer? Uh, probably not too much longer. We're just going to a little bit. There's that grub again. Didn't scare me this time. You jerk. We're only going to about 12.30 my time tonight. The marksman hat plus a venom armor, or well, the 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 marksman hat plus the the feather arrows are what we're gonna try out here. I love this spider armor. You can go so fast with it. At least until you run out of steam. <laughs> you did that dandelion tough? Yeah, the uh, the physics of that dandelion tufts are funny. Like You can kick them and they just flip out. For anyone who hasn't seen this base yet, I don't know if you're new to the stream or whatever, but um, this is the, our main base back here. So I built it down here at the base of the tree. So it's reasonably accessible, um, but it's kind of out of reach of stuff. And then our secondary base is way up here at the top of this. So this is our elevator to get up top side. They should make more secret secret characters like the one with muscles called M -m meat <laughs> So this is the uh, the the first extra build we we did just for fun. This this base up here in the tree. I don't think I have any spider web here, so I'll have to go down to make those arrows. But I've got like tables and decorations and stuff in here. A little bit. Um, I've got the uh, the new bed they added up here. I never finished the the furnishings of the second floor just yet. We'll get there. I'm, I'm easily distracted, so I I got focused on building something new as opposed to finishing this thing out entirely. But um, yeah, this is our uh, this is our treetop base. And then, of course, over there, you can now see... I love how you can see everything on the map, even when it's far away. Um, that's the base, the uh, the new building we're making down there. Wow, it's actually really visible from here. I wasn't, wasn't entirely sure I'd be able to see it very clearly, but that's super cool. R.I.P. Berry Chair. Oh, yeah, I still haven't replaced that thing. <laughs> Poor Berry Chair. A feather arrow gives uh, ant about three quarter damage. A regular arrow gives ant half damage. So it's, it's so it's an improvement, but it's not dramatically higher. That's what you're saying.
Banzai! Yeah, I need spider webs. Let's see what it takes. Oh, I think I have feathers in here somewhere too. Yeah. Let's see how many how many arrows we can get out of this. With seven feathers. Oh my god, is it really only one at a time it makes? <laughs> That's Holy, that takes a lot of spider web. I guess I guess it's finally a use for spider web though. Alright, so that made me a grand total of seven feather arrows. That wasn't really that epic. I, can, I gotta get more feathers, I guess. Hopefully they're reusable. At that cost, they better be. Because the feathers aren't necessarily that easy to get. You gotta kind of like, hunt around and find the stupid things. Yeah, that was it for the feathers. Okay. Neat. Let's go find something to shoot with it now. Preferably not an aphid. <laughs> oh, actually, let's, um... What time is it here? 17.38. We have a little bit of time. We'll hunt around here for aphids, and then we'll go try out the feathers on a beetle after sleeping here for the night. Okay. I thought I would find an aphid a little easier than this. <laughs> Where are they all? Where have all the where have all the aphids gone? We should never got in a car crash. You got concussed in your arms in pain. Well that sucks. How did I get the mint to respawn? Uh, I didn't actually. I just harvested a whole bunch of it the first time I went in there to get it. And so I have a, I have a chest there that has like extra mint pieces in it. Because there's not really anything to build with it right now other than the mint mallet. And repairing the mint mallet doesn't even use the mint pieces. It uses uh, quartzite. So it just kind of is just sitting there. Okay, I, I don't know where the aphids went. <laughs> I thought there would be some back here for sure. Maybe the ants ate them. All my aphids have been spawned inside rocks. No, they've got um, they've got a patch in now that the the bugs don't do that anymore. They pop out. That was a lot of that was a really juicy explosion. There's an aphid. I'm down. Take that, aphid. Kind of thought this would be quicker and easier, but it's, it's not turning out to be that way. Huh. Insect bow, marksman hat, bow damage mutation, a couple venom arrows, and finish it with the arrows and it's a strong combo. I don't actually have the bow mutation, so that must be one of the ones I haven't got unlocked. I gotta shoot stuff with bows more, I guess. The marksman hat I do have, but I'm not wearing it at the moment because I'm just running around here. I'm using my using my speed boost instead from the spider outfit. What the heck is that? That's gotta be a gnat. <laughs> Come on, aphids. Don't do this to me. Not like this. Alright, this is not working well. 50 enemies with bows for the mutation. Oh, I see. Still gonna see Burgle? Yeah, I was hoping to knock out a quest before we saw Burgle.
but apparently the aphids are not going to cooperate. Nope, we're out of luck. I thought for sure there'd be some around here. We only got one. 1939. A little more time to kill and then we can sleep for the night and we'll go try out one of these fancy arrows on the uh, the Bombardier Beetles. See how they like it. Check by the ant hill. I'm not wearing ant armor, so I just gotta watch the uh, watch the soldier ants don't give me the, the beat down. Oh, I heard one. Where'd he go? Where are you, Avid? Ah! <laughs> it's getting too dark. I can't see them. All right, let's. Uh... Oh, is it actually in here? It does sound like it's in here. I wonder if it's stuck in the... It might be actually stuck in the wall or something. Because it's not out here. Alright, well that was a dud. Okay, let's, uh, let's sleep and then we'll go find a beetle. I'm sure we'll find aphids just by, like, randomly... Ugh, randomly walking around during the daytime. What? No Wasteland 3? Uh, yo, so Wasteland 3 I was supposed to play on Friday, but I'm having date night with my wife, because uh, it's one of the rare occasions when we won't have the kids. So I'm going to be moving moving Wasteland 3 to, uh, to Friday. Or to Saturday, rather. Oh, no, the aphid meat spoiled. Ah. Blew it. Could have made some aphid jerky. Man, the number of times I forget about that. Okay, um, beetles are over here. Over by the water, I think there's some. There's a couple of them that live over that way. You guys are infinitely responding to there's too many. And the game lags like crazy if you go into your ant's nest. Oh, really? I have a lot of ants now, too, but I'm, I haven't had issues with lag so far. with grubs again. There's no lack of weevils around here. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> oh man. What I wouldn't give to have some of the ant bombs right now. <laughs> Kaboom. Look at them all. Okay, that's a little nutty. If I'm looking for ants, it, oh, there's the leg. <laughs> if I'm looking for ants, I know where to find them now, at least. Holy cow, that's crazy. Infinitely responding more ants. What? Oh, yeah, I'm getting lagged now. You're right. Okay, so I don't get it near the anthill. I get it right there. They're, um, they're trying to get some rotten meat that's on the ground. They're all spawning and gathering around the rotten meat. If I had bombs, we could just, like, obliterate them, but, uh, Aphid. Oh, he ran towards me. He psyched me out. That's old still. Where'd my arrow go? My arrow fell on the ground. I don't think I got to pick it up. There's a beetle. Okay, we need to switch hats. Uh, let's put this one on. And then we're going to switch to our feather arrows. See how these work. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. All right, I'm out of arrows. Boom! Smoked him. Okay, that works pretty good. Oh, he's got a friend. I need my arrows back. Okay, where'd he go? <laughs> I don't know where he went. <laughs> That's probably problematic. Oh, there he is. Oops, wrong button. All right, we got we got all seven arrows back. We're good. Run. He's acting like he can't reach me, but I'm within reach. Oh god. Boom. Okay, I like these feather arrows. This is working really good with the hat. Sweet. Uh oh, I got six arrows back. I'm missing one. No, they're too valuable. Where'd my arrow go? I got one arrow missing. No. I don't know. I must have missed it on one of the shots and sent. Oh, there it is. Phew. Okay. We got our seven back. Sweet. Plus, we can knock out two of the beetles. Well, that's cool. Okay, I do like the uh, I like the feather hat and the feather arrows. That's pretty sweet. Um, I'm gonna call it a wrap for tonight, though. We uh, we just rounded up on 12:30 uh, in the morning my time. I gotta work in the morning. Uh, but thanks, Owen, for coming to hang out tonight. Appreciate you all hanging out with me while I uh, while I built our big uh, our big castle type structure we're working on and uh, all the good conversation and stuff. I uh, appreciate all the super chats. If you don't uh, currently subscribe to the channel, click on the subscribe button. Come back and hang out with us again. Uh, tomorrow night we're gonna play some Subnautica Below Zero. Uh, Friday night I will be off. There won't be a stream. And then uh, Saturday is when we'll be playing Wasteland 3. Uh, but thanks everyone for coming to hang out. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.